Hey. We're here. What's up, guys? So, I'm going to avoid disc puns. <laughs> no, we're not. Because <laughs> no, we're not. I, for one, have had enough disc puns over the last 24 hours. If there's one thing I've learned about disc puns, they just happen. <laughs> you can't stop it. Yeah. Like, it's just going to occur. Yeah. And uh, you just got to accept that. Uh, yeah. So, uh, did anybody... Anybody out there creating viral videos? <laughs> Accidentally? Sort of. Did you guys do any of that? Because we didn't we didn't plan on doing that. That was certainly not our intention. One does not plan on creating viral videos, <laughs> I don't think. Um, so, we're going to do some sealed prep. And uh, we're going to work it slightly differently than some of the previous sealed prep that we were going to do. Um, so we're going to open three decks each. We're going to decide which one that we wanted to play. And we're basically going to rank them. We're going to put them one, two, and three as to like which deck that we think is the best, second best, third best. And then we're going to play those decks against each other in that order, I guess. We could start yeah. with the worst decks and then work our way out. Sure. Ultra Gecko. Ultra Gecko. Thanks for uh, that, man. Yep, we appreciate that, man. Thank you, sir. Um, do you want to do reverse order? Do we want to do top down? I guess down? we can. It doesn't really matter. The right? word, like what we think is the worst deck working up to our best deck. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess so. Um, so... Uh, cause we, we still wanted to play all of the decks, um, that, cause we're going to enter these decks into our tournament anyway. Um, maybe, maybe, <laughs> yeah, who knows? We'll, we'll have to, we'll have to come up with something. Yeah. Um, we, we did have a ton of people reach out to us, which I thought was, uh, very nice, um, looking to trade decks and whatnot. Um, so I thought that was pretty sweet. So anyway, um, so yeah, we're going to open these up now and, uh, go from there. I might, like I might have to like at at India, I might have to look through decks, like actual thumb through decks to decide. Yeah, as opposed to just looking at lists like this, right? Which is what I'm used to. Exactly, exactly. Um, uh, this deck. Oh God, this has a uh, a legacy charrette in it. That oh, could have been cool. really good. Um, it doesn't have uh, Sarians to go with it, but it could have well, been. We really are good. we are happy that you enjoy watching us, Ultra Gecko. <laughs> now you got some flex. Appreciate that. Yeah. Air. Uh, R. Sterling. Rod Sterling. Rod Sterling. Fist Bartleby. <laughs> That's pretty good. I do have two Bro two Brobnar decks. Um, let's see if they're I've got gonna the, bring me down or not. I've got Malfunctional Dirk of the Hive. This does have a hide in vellum. That's kind of cool in the logos. What's which one's that? That's the the new like dual. Dual thing, not not time traveler, but sort of time traveler. Oh, yeah, yeah the the pair, the, the one that's like guys. if it reaps, you get to archive the other one or whatever. Yeah. So, um, Septric, the counselor of the street, R. Sterling, Pokepaths beats like Guru. Hey, I'm just gonna open these. Uh, I'm probably since we're all playing them all, I'll just go ahead and sleeve these. Yeah. And that'll give me a chance to do some. Um, uh, so this isn't like AOA where we could just look and digest yeah. uh, a deck list, right? Because um, I don't, I don't immediately know. Especially um, these disc creatures, I c I couldn't tell you a Lilithal from a Dendrix <laughs> from you know. I know Bordit because he's the dude who like mills. Um, but yeah, do you have a tournament or something you're going to Ultra Gecko or like a, a release tournament? We're just gonna go play. I know a lot of people are going to midnight stuff, or some people are going to some midnight stuff. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah. If only we had a community that supported midnight things. <laughs> yeah. Or regular I weekly things. I remember really enjoying like midnight magic releases. Yeah. Those are super fun. I did one, so I worked one not that long ago, I guess within the last like few years, and I remember being exhausted as shit <laughs> yeah. the next day. Going like, well, definitely never doing that again. I mean, we were like way younger. Yeah, no, I remember doing those at like like yeah. doing those at twenty was a totally different thing. I can't open this deck. <laughs> I can't open it. Impossible. Where's the red stripe? I want that red stripe. Bring red stripes back. While you're talking to Asmodee, tell yeah. him to bring red stripes back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All the decks that didn't have dis in them must have been with the decks that actually had the red stripes. Yeah. You got a uh, sealed event. You can use your second place play mana keys. Sweet. Oh, nice. From the uh, from the primes, right? Or store championships. Uh, 
Okay. I do have a uh, too much to protect in the shadows of this one, but I don't Ooh. think there's a way to like steal same turn that I can tell. Is Mug? No, Mug moves something off of a creature, right? Yeah, and yeah, it does damage to it. Prime the Grim Reaper playmat. Oh, that's so oh, cool. Oh, man. That's awesome. Yeah, the Grim Reaper, uh, that artwork on Grim Reaper is sweet. Yeah. Um, I think it's really, really cool. I think it's interesting that they're using anomalies for the playmats. Yeah. Yeah, that is awesome. Um, this is a more wolf deck. That's pretty okay. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd certainly could. I'd give that a lot of consideration. Um, all right. I guess we'll do these decks one at a time, and I guess we'll do it kind of simultaneously. Yeah. Um, Ink of the Spider. I really like this card. It's kind of small. I was just talking about how I wish there was more poison in this set. Um, but uh, the stunning is pretty good. Gravid Cycle is a card I rate pretty highly. Um, two Wild Spirits is pretty good, right? Um, you re it gives the it's an attachment. It gives the creature reap capture one. So this is um, ways to uh, disrupt your opponent. So yeah. what I'm going to do... I'm tamed it so much better. <laughs> um, I've got a Fangtooth Cavern, also a good card. Unnatural Selection, also a good card. Yeah. Um, all of these have Amber Pips on them. So I'm going to do my initial pass through is I'm going to count the Amber on cards because this is a pretty good... It's a good soft indicator of like um, how much Amber a deck can generate. Um, I've got a Song of the Wild, so I guess I would put this in like a special pile. Um, to, to consider. Uh, imprinted Mermook, I kind of rate... Oh, two of Imprinted Mermooks. This deck had a key charge. I think it would be nuts, right? Um, two Imprinted Mermooks and a Song of the Wild. That's just like a key by itself right there. Um, just about. That was really good. Um, plus all the uh, the extra stuff that you have. I mean, Deepwood Druid is not great. And Tadlin kind of sucks. Rustnower's not awful. Um, but I do feel like Rustnower has so many fewer targets to actually fight in this set. I've um, got a book of IEQ. Um, that is a good card. This um, guy purges each card in your hand. Lesser Oxtet. Oh, yeah. Reap yeah, there's a cost plus three during your opponent's next turn. There's a greater Oxtet. Huh. Um, Zap has been pretty good. Uh, Justin, so this deck has two Zaps. So. Yeah, the Zap's really good. The splitting damage is insane. Uh, mm. Sensor Chief Garcia is very good. Commander Chan is solid. Uh, two cloaking dongles is pretty good. And a chief engineer walls to get back the cloaking dongles. Um, chief engineer walls can also get back my wild spirit and my plasma nozzle. Um, so chief like walls has got a lot of work he can do in this set. Uh, cloaking dongles pretty good with walls because it gives them a way to be protected. Um, so you might be able to get extra uses out of them. This deck actually has some of the highest amber I've seen out of a um. Worlds Collide deck. I'm not. Uh, I'm not too impressed so far with what I looked through uh, from the lists. Bored its touch is pretty good. Online. Evil Eye is good. Rock Grub. I would say this deck is kind of soft on Amber control, but it's very fast. I think um, fast might be enough to get you there in this format. Yeah, actually. Um, Festering Touch got an Exhum. Oh, two Exhums. I think my ideal deck right now would be heavy board control and Amber. Yeah, big Amber. Um, some Dendrix and some Malazons, and then like a Binding Irons to round it out. Uh, this deck has like a pretty close to 18 Amber Pips, I gotta say. So, um, 18 is a ton one, for this format, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 Amber Pips on cards by themselves. Um, so pretty good, right? Just playing my cards. If I go through my deck and play my cards, I'm pretty close to winning. Inspector's happy about this. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, Infernus. Infernus. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you you tack in like the imprinted Mermooks there, so that my keys are cheaper. Um, you got yourself a stew going right here. <laughs> um, I do think the creature control in this deck is probably a little light. Um, and then it looks like the amber control is a little light as well, but I think you can tax people um, on on their keys. So you're pretty um, likely to get a deck with one of the new houses. I don't know how many decks you plan on buying, but I think you have something like a. It's it's in the like 
upper 80 percent, I think, to uh, if you're opening one deck to get a new house. One of the two new houses. Okay. So, uh, R. Sterling, I gotta say, looks solid. Looks like I could lose to uh, the board. Um, oh, man, Chago is stupid, right? We played this guy. If you have fewer than five cards in your deck, steal two. He's very good, yeah. I think he's, he's very set upable, especially if you yeah. have archiving. Yeah. Um, so this is uh, Septric. Thanks, Titans Oak. Got th four decks, three of Sorry, and one Star Lines. So that's pretty good. Uh, Whisper. Um... Yeah, well, it, it was what it was. We had to like get decks from people who watch us at uh, Richmond before we had anything with the new houses in it. Yeah, because we had opened up. Uh, we opened like houses. four decks, right? Yeah, yeah. I do have the Shadow Council and Fist Bartleby, which is the center of the battle line against Action Steel Two. Oh man, Steel yeah. Two is pretty, <laughs> pretty brutal. Um, nah, this you didn't miss anything, Lord Farquaad. We're just leaving decks up. We're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of sealed prep. Yeah, doing doing the sealed prep. Uh, I've got a hit and run. I oh you could so you could hit and run Manchego. That's that's like the dream. Um, uh, to return to your hand, right? Yeah, that's insane. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So it does two damage to a creature and then return a friendly creature to your hand. So, um, we got the self boosting automata here. Uh, Dysania is probably going to be a lot less good, um, based off of what we've seen. Yeah. Um, the, the memory trip I highly rate this card is awesome discombobulator is good just to protect your amber from being stolen now so look look at the difference in this deck already okay I went through shadows um, I'm in logos I have three amber pips on cards in this deck so far I like this too but uh, it's too much a little too much a little too much for us Luckily, some of our viewers are uh, gonna trade Zex with us, and we'll we can yeah. have a real we, we can have a real world worlds collide experience in the right. future. We will survive. Uh, I have Greater Oxtet. Um, so he says at the end of your ready card step, purge a card from your hand. If you do, give him two plus one plus one counters. So he like nills yourself. Weird. I mean, yeah, we got no choice, Code Red. <laughs> so we are playing disaster decks. Yeah. We actually tried to see if a store around us had another display yeah. that we could use, like a fresh display. We would have bought one. Right, but, right. Uh, no one around us is like even ordering much Keyforge. This is very disappointing in its own way. Yeah. No, I don't think this is a deck that could make use of Misery Exploit. I got this sweet Legacy Charette, but um, I don't think... This is Legacy Charette? Okay. This Legacy Charette was between two Misery exploits in the deck list. How does that work? Because it's card number 81. <laughs> yeah. What? That's that's bizarro. Bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> I got some more wolves. I got four more wolves in this deck. I got Witch <laughs> of the Wilds. Uh, Zoom is good to go with Charette. Draining Touch. I think this card's actually very solid in this. Was it for uh, starters, Code Red? Or for, I guess, they don't, I don't know if they carry deck displays or not. I would assume they probably don't. But I also have low deck, low down in the deck with the four more wolves. That seems oh, pretty good. that's really good. Because yeah. you can get them back. Um, Two so. player stars, yeah. Okay, so this deck, on the other hand, has seven amber pips. Yeah, that's about average, I think, for this set. So I have I would, two of my decks have seven. I would rate this deck pretty low. Uh, I mean, I've got some... The Shadows can steal a decent amount. The Logos, um, I have an information exchange. The Logos doesn't look like it... Like The Logos doesn't look bad. You've got Daughter and Memory Chip, so you've got ways to um, filter your deck some. And you've got an EE on the fringes, which is, uh, as we know, insane in this format because of uh, the high amount of disc... Um, but, uh, yeah, I would probably put this deck in the middle. Is he, uh, uncommon? Yes, okay. I believe. I have a human bane. <laughs> We're gonna see all the banes. So, there's yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, Malfunctional Dirk of the Hive. Um, we've got Garcia's Blaster. Okay, so Garcia's 
When you attach it to him, you steal one. Oh, what? <laughs> That's so good. Uh, I've got Crash Muldoon over here. Enters play ready in action. Use a neighboring non-star alliance creature. Okay, so he's neat. He like gives you a way to use um, uh, your other creatures during a star alliance turn. All right, let's. I'm gonna go through the amber pips of this deck. Um, so I have Bishop of the Cutthroat of Blank Glen. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got two king cans. Seven. Seven. Okay. Stout has one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Fist Bartleby. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That was actually the one that I first glance thought was the best one because uh, it has too much protect. It's got the Shadow Council, two two Kaimor Eclipses seems pretty good. Hawk to deal with artifacts. The Brobnar is is Brobnar. I don't know how good it is really. Yeah, it has the big one. What is the big one? Oh, that's the one that blows up all creatures and artifacts. Oh, this fuse counter one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Got a volcano, warriors refrains, two warriors refrains, but a lot of low, a lot of low power guys to go with your warriors refrains in your other houses. It does have a color subordination, which is good in this format of this, of lots of this. Hmm, this deck has a key to this and an EE on the fringes. I did get a key to this deck, which is cool too. Always love to see that card. Yeah, it's it's particularly good and sealed. Yeah. Oh, someone just had it in their cart, probably. Yeah. Uh, Malazan. I think Malazan is better. It's like one of the better of those disc guys. The the guy that fights and makes your opponent discard a card is like not that exciting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not as exciting he, as you might think he would be. Uh, two in furnaces is pretty good, and an exhum. Yeah. Um, I think this deck is also pretty good. It's like slightly. It's got slightly less amber. I would actually have a hard decision here. Um, if this is indie, I'm sitting down with these three decks. Um, I'm not a hundred percent which of these decks I take. I have no clue. <laughs> I think it's I think it's this guy. I just don't know how. Um, I just don't know how it's going to perform. This deck has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen amber pips. Um, but its control, I think, is much higher. There's a lot of purge. Uh, I've got a Ronnie. I got a Trust No One. A Dusk Runner. Selwyn. Is she actually good? In your deck? Um, Maybe with some Starlight. I got some guys. Uh, Frayne. Frayne's good, yeah. So, Frayne. Um, Kin Can. I'm going to put in like the sort of control pile. And then Garcia. Yeah, I have no clue how to evaluate these decks. Yeah, this deck actually interacts with my opponent Amber, opponent's Amber in a thousand different ways. Uh, it's got a stealth mode. I like would value that card very highly in sealed. Um, Zap is that good. Can win two, you games. two special deliveries. It's pretty I mean, good. Solid. I have a flex in here along with uh, Fire Breaths, which gives creatures plus three power. So that's that's okay. decent. Yeah, yeah. Right. Do you have Mr. Guts in there? Mr. Gravel Guts? I do not okay. have a Gravel Guts. Do you have a Brew? A Gron Nine Toes. Uh, I, I guess brews. Gron could get big. Yeah. I, I like this deck a lot. I think this deck's got a lot of legs. It's got the key to this. I'd be hard pressed not to play this deck. This deck, I think, is definitely the uh, the Legacy Charette deck. Is actually, I think, this is my third choice. Hmm. It's very easily um, deck number three. Um, the choice between these two decks is kind of hard now. Um, I think I, I think I would go with this one. I think this is my pick right here, Malfunctional Dirk of the Hive, just because of key to this. Um, because I give I, I I rate that card very highly in sealed. Um, it's just a lot of times if you don't need it, it can just sit there. Yeah. Um, so I think I, I, I pick, uh, stout 
Also because of key to disc, and because it's got two infernuses for amber control. Okay. Not finished with you to shuffle the mech in. Yeah, yeah. Um, the logo seems pretty good. Igor, it's got two wormhole technicians, but it's got data forge, positron bolt, and uh, oh, twin okay. bolt. Okay, yeah. It seemed really good in this format. It's got the hide and bellum as well. This is this is my second best deck in my opinion. So, um, I would do. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll play. I'll start with that one. The, my worst deck, Septric here. I'll put that in the chat real quick. We're going with worst first, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I have no clue. <laughs> okay. I still don't know if this is even the best one. I think this shadows one is in second. So I'm gonna say Bishop Cutthroat of Blank Glen is my worst. Although this is the one with like my, my silly untamed. So I don't I don't know. It just has no amber control or the very very little amber amber control that I can tell. But we'll stick with it for now. Let's see if that shows up. Okay, there we go. Bishop. The cutthroat of. Blank Glen. What you doing over here, dog? Just sniffing. Just checking it out. Sniffing feet. All right, so we can start. We can just finally play some Keyforge. All right, let's do it. We are ready. Uh, five. Uh, Eleven. Yeah. What are you uh, most worried about? Long games. Yeah, yeah. I could see games. I could see games going to time, and then like you losing a game that you should have won. Um, getting like intentionally stalled by somebody. Uh, being called for intentionally stalling on like a turn where you're tr like deep in the tank and just trying to figure out what happens on the board. Yeah, because there's a lot of stuff happening. And that's your board. worst deck, you said. Theoretically, theoretically, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, we even playing. I'm glad we played any amount of Worlds Collide. Yeah, because there's a lot of tricky cards. There's a lot of cards that that don't do what you think they should do and a lot of those cards are shadows based <laughs> yeah um because uh it's it's pr it's a pretty nasty trick for special delivery to be in this set and then also the spike trap and Kaimor eclipse because you read special delivery and it's like do three damage to a flank creature and you're like okay that makes sense and then you play the spike trap and it says do three damage to every flank creature and you're like sweet i'll kill two opponent's creatures but i also killed two of mine i didn't realize it at the time um, and then Kaimor Eclipse is like shuffle each flank creature and you're like okay I guess I shuffle like you know if you had one or the other to go with a special delivery you would like very easily make a mistake where you play it and it doesn't do what it what, what you thought it was supposed to do so it's funny how much worse uh, than Lost in the Woods Kaimor Eclipse yeah. is yeah because you don't get to pick yeah and you don't give an amber for it right <laughs> I mean that's I think it's sick like uh, all of the all of the amber pips that were on like relentless whispers and ghostly hand, um, like uh, should be on these very middling shadows actions, yeah, and they're right. not there, um, as opposed to on the cards they were on originally. Though I do think I do think shadows is pretty close to balance in the set from what we what from what little we've seen. That was first, right? Uh, yes. I would agree with that. I think it's still fine. Edward, what are you doing? Just chewing on stuff. Licking my chair. Just licking <laughs> just, my chair. Just licking the chair. Whatever, that's fine. That's fine. All right, so I'm first. Uh, yeah, I will keep this. Uh, sure. I'll just play this Explorer over. Okay. Does exalting a creature always trigger the exalt effect? Like every card that exalts all my creatures, does that trigger the other exalts in the card? Uh, no, so no, if you exalt no, no. a creature, that just means that you put an amber on it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's, that's it. all it means. Um, I'm going to say Logos. I'm going to play Memory Chip. I'm going to play Quant, and I'm going to play Dysania. And then I'm going to put a Discombobulator on Dysania. Your amber can't be still. Okay. Yep. And your turn. I will draw. All right, I'll say Untamed. I'll play Imprinted Mermook. More wolf, more wolf. Uh, I'll just reboot this more wolf. Okay. 
All right, my turn. I am going to say Shadows. I am going to play Hugger Mugger. He's going to capture, um, but uh, I'm going to hit and run to kill a more wolf um, and then bounce him, then I'll replay him. Okay. I will play a J Venda and a Yancey Gang. And it is your turn. I will draw four. Okay, I will say Star Alliance. I'll play Science Officer Morpheus. Oh, you guys, your play effects happen twice? Yeah. Oh, that guy's pretty exciting. I don't have any play effects. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will play I'm glad. an Explore Over. I'm going to give this more wolf a cloaking dongle so him and each of his creature or neighbors get elusive. Okay. Um, I'll give a quadricorder to your Desania. Okay. So it costs plus one for each friendly house. Yeah, for three, it's sure. House that I have. Yeah. Explore Over. I think he'll just kill the quant. Okay. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to say Shadows, um, so I'm going to play Special Delivery. Uh, I'm going to play a Whisper. And... Um, Yancey Gang is just going to take an action and steal one from you. Uh, J Venda is going to reap and do a damage to that more wolf. And then Hugger Mugger, I think also just reaps. I think just getting this much amber, um, having a board like I do is just too good right now. So Yeah, Charite uh, would capture six. Pretty cool. Or uh, she would capture three two times. Your turn, I would um, draw two. So. Right, I'll say Dis. I'm going to play a Gleeful Mayhem. Okay. So for each house, deal five to creature of the house. Um, Logos. Logos, yep. Shadows, I'll kill... The Yancey Gang. Okay. Um, Untamed. And Star Alliance. Okay. Play a Rot Grub. Okay. Lose one. Lose two. Oh, play yeah. Effect triggers oh, my God. The Morpheus. Play Dendrix. Play. Mm. I'll. Discard Harbinger of Doom. Okay. Because you don't want me to yeah. whisper the crap out of him. Okay. I could. Um, I can take a decent. I don't do it. Mm. Mm. I think. I think I say shadows here. Can I threaten? Reap, steal, puts me to five. Hugger mugger can reap. And then I got a special delivery for something in there. Um, I've got. Um, I guess I could say. I could say. Logos here. Yeah, we can say Logos. Um, that's me archive a card, uh, which is pretty good. I am going to drop a Titan Guardian. I've got um, Thorium Plasmate, so I get to move somebody and then deal damage to them based off of the uh, neighbors that share a house. So uh, I can't actually kill anything except the rock grub so i'll throw him plasmate him over to there um, and then he'll he'll die uh, i will play a hologramma foam which uh i think we saw yesterday was a very good card um and then i'm gonna special delivery and get rid of that um against this i don't know if i want to just leave artifacts that can sacrifice for effects just sitting on the table necessarily um, because of Poltergeist. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, your turn. I will draw. Okay. I will say Star Alliance. I'll play a red alert. So you take all your creatures take a damage. Okay. You get these guys off the table. <laughs> I'm going to play a CXO Tabor. 
Uh, you may play or use one non starlight card this turn. Uh, this fight and reap ability. Okay. I'm going to play General Order 24. At the start of each player's turn, they must choose a creature they control and destroy each creature of the chosen creature's house. If the player has no creatures in play, destroy General Order 24. So that's going to murder dudes wholesale every turn until it stops. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to reap with Science Officer. Okay. And that is my turn. Okay, so I have to... Um... Okay, so at the start of my turn, I could say Logos, and then I would kill all Logos creatures. Yep. He's dead. Uh, it's a shame I don't get to draw two there. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. I like the design on it. Yeah, it's a very interesting card. I am... So, it's very bizarre, because if I say Shadows right now, um, I will put some Shadows creatures into play, and then on my next turn, I will kill all of them. Yeah. I accept these terms. I will say shadows. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am gonna play a Breaker Hill. I'm gonna play a J Venda. Um, these got yeah. I'll play them on the off chance that that isn't in play on your next turn. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, okay. So, Whisper. Um, can steal one from you with Breaker Hill. Breaker Hill, I think, is a card that is underrated in this set. Yeah, because something like that would have Omega in AOA, yeah. right? Yeah. Because uh, what's-his-face is very similar. Um, Little Niff. Little Niff. SoundCloud yeah. rapper Little Niff. Yeah. Um, but slightly worse. Yeah. So, Jay Venda's gonna mm. reap um, and shoot the Morwolf for one. Um, I'll get a... Uh, oh, oh, sorry. I steal that Amber from you. And then Hugger Mugger. Uh, so I have no reason not to fight with him here, I think. So Hugger Mugger is going to fight your Morpheus just to keep um, just to, to keep your board under control. OK. Um, and your turn. I'll say check with eight, and I will draw two. Okay. I'll say this. I can't. I can't stop the eight. I'm just gonna festering touch to kill some stuff that's gonna die anyway. Okay. I'll kill, I'll kill those guys. Sure. Play soul fiddle. Play a harbinger of doom. Oh, uh, you had to destroy one of your guys now. Yeah, I'll destroy the dendrix. Okay. And that's it. So you have to uh, choose your one of your creatures, and then the yeah. shadows. Yeah. So dies. I'll say shadows. So this all dies. So yep. if that player has no creatures in play, destroy it. Yeah. So if at the start of your turn you have no creatures, then it goes away. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Wait. At then, the start of each player's turn, they must choose a creature they control. Destroy each creature of the chosen creature's house. If that player has no creatures in play, destroy General Order Twenty Four instead. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. What's up, Squirrel Bane? So I could keep this going. Uh, do I have a way to kill all of your stuff? Okay, no, I can actually, we can get around this. So, um, so I forged, actually, uh, that happens also. Um, I'm gonna put my archives into my hand, and I am going to say this. I'm gonna play format best card EE -E on the fringes. I'm gonna discard Greater Oxtet, um, and purge. Um... We'll get Rock Grub and a Steel one. I'm going to pitch Lilifall. We'll get um, Festering Touch and a Steel one. I will pitch my Rock Grub and I'll purge the uh, Dendrix, I guess. I will play Malazan. I'm going to Draining Touch to kill Tabor. Um, and then I'm going to exhume something. Oh, I should exhume. I should exhume the Titan Guardian and then play the Malazan. That's what I should do. So that way he so I will draw two extra cards when you're forced to kill your own Harbinger of Doom on the yeah. next turn. Um yeah, okay. 
So, uh, your turn. I will draw six. Okay. All right. They explode. I'll right. say. I'll uh, draw two with the, uh, off the Titan Guard. I'll say Star Alliance. Play Helmsman Spears and discard Quintrino Flux. Your turn. Okay, so. Like, I, I, think have I, was, no... I think I was correct about this deck being the worst one. Okay. <laughs> I have no creatures, so General Order 24 <laughs> explodes now. Yep. Yeah, the deck seems pretty bad. Uh, okay. I, I, did I see Logos? No, that doesn't let me threaten. That doesn't let me threaten. I guess I'll say I'll say dis because it lets me threaten all evil on you. Okay. Um, I will play charrette and I'll discard misery exploit. And it's your turn. I'll draw one. Say check with six. Okay. I'll say untamed. Rustnar, Morwolf. Bramblings. I forge? Yep. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> the deck's not great. Was it worth it to Star Alliance there? To I don't like, think pitch all those so... untamed dudes, I maybe? I don't know. You're you're checked out already. Yeah, I'm checked out of this game. Okay. <laughs> uh I will say logos. I'm gonna archive a card with memory chip. I'm gonna pitch information exchange. I'm going to play Quant, I'm going to play Daughter, and then I'm going to Hologramophone Daughter. Um, to word it. This card is this card is bonkers. Yeah. Alright, your turn. I will draw five, <laughs> up to seven. We do, we love this. Alright, I'm going to say Untamed again. I'll play Song of the Wild. I'm going to Reap. I'm going to Reap. I'm going to Reap. God. Hey, who let you do that? Actually, Rust Nodder's probably better off not reaping. Uh, I'm going to play more wolf. Ready this wolf. He's going to reap. Play Rust Nodder. This Rust Nodder will kill the Quant. Okay. And then blow up the Hologramophone. That's it. It's actually a lot of disc dudes. Um... Song of the Wild is better than I thought it would be upon yeah. first reading it. Yeah, I th I thought that card was going to be like trash. Actually, well, no, actually crazy. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I will put my archives in my hand, and I'm going to say shadows. Um, I'm going to trust no one and steal one from you, and then I'm going to play Manchego and steal two from you. I am going to play Breaker Hill, and then I'm going to hawk your soul fiddle. So, My soul fiddle. Uh, destroy an artifact and gain one. Okay. Uh, I will. S I don't quite say check, but I will draw three. My soul fiddle. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say uh, the shadow stuff in here, the shadow stuff in the set I think is deceptive. I think a lot of the shadow stuff plays a lot better than it necessarily looks yeah. on paper. So, yeah, well, you you, you toss in um, like ghost hawks and more wolves and more wolves and all kinds of other stuff. Hmm. I don't. I like don't have any amber control. In this I, deck. I I <laughs> determined that is the thing about the deck. Uh, I needed to like also forge keys at some point. Yeah, didn't do that. <laughs> I haven't done that. I can't do that. That deck seems better than you gave it credit for. Yeah, it, do, it does. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. And it's here. logo shadows disc. I mean, what do you? Yeah. What do you expect? I guess I will say it only had like seven amber pips on cards, but it's just like, like all the, the action dudes, stuff. Well, yeah. all the all the dudes steal. Yep. Okay, I'll say untamed. <laughs> I guess elusive doesn't trigger. Uh, be no damage was done. Yeah. Or yeah. I guess the ward token doesn't remove. Correct. Elus elusive does trigger, but the ward token doesn't go. Right, away. right. Because okay. it, do it doesn't take any damage. Yeah. 
Yeah, like it looks like a worse psychic network. When Tame is more ready a creature. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, agree. you got Bramble Lynxes. You got. You, I think you've got a lot of stuff. Uh, I was playing with a buddy after work with those um, with the decks from the two player starter, and um, uh, he like untapped with a feathered shaman, and he could have. He had like a a key uh, charge in his deck. He didn't realize it, but um, he he played stuff in the wrong order. Hey. What's he doing? Licking the wall. Why are what? you licking the wall? There's something delicious on the wall. Is he, is he getting the wall candy? Here, get oh, I'm supposed to draw one more because of the daughter. But, um, yeah, he had like, uh, what was it? Um, Bramble Links. I'm going to attack daughter to get okay. the memory chip and the elusive. Okay. I'm going to attack daughter. Attack daughter. Oh, no. I'm going to attack Raker Hill. Attack Raker Hill. Okay. And we're all out of artifacts to destroy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to play a lowdown. Okay. Low Dawn. Low Dawn. Yeah. More Wolf. We've been we've been got before, but more Mook, more Wolf. I get to and shuffle these in. And that's it. I heard dogs lick humans because they know there's bones underneath. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Ah, they're learning. Alright, I guess I'll say you haven't stopped a key yet. Why would you stop a key now? No. Um, I am going to say this. I'm going to reap with charrette. I'm going to play a rock grub and make you lose one. Uh, I'll play a misery exploit, which will give me one. Uh, and I'll binding irons you for good measure. And it's your turn. And I'll say check the seven and draw to you. I draw one. Uh, okay. I will be ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Thanks for that follow. Who's a loco? Who's a We appreciate that. Appreciate it, man. Uh, I'm going to say Star Alliance. I'll play Sensor Chief Garcia to stop okay. you from, from okay. killing me. I'm going to play Medic Ingram. I'm going to award the Sensor Chief. Sure. Helmsman Spears. Get a book and dump my hand. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a spider. Oh my so like, god. Like an actual. You're walking right there. It's so big. It's so giant. Oh God, where did it go? Oh, it's right there. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, spider. I think, was, I think Eddie was trying to protect us against it. He must have been. Maybe he was like licking the wall to get all the spiders out of it. No. Okay. I think I just yeah. dumped these four cards. Hi from Spain. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Okay. I think it might have poison. Okay, well, uh, that's my turn. Oh, I did forge, right? Yes, that did occur. And then I reaped. Okay. That's it. That's my turn there. My whole dang turn. Now, if only I had two key charges. Yeah. Or a Coliseum. Yeah. Coliseum key charge, you'd be in good shape. Nuke it from orbit, it's the only way to be sure. Uh, okay. Can you go outside? Can you go outside? Is that way you're sniffing around? <laughs> you gotta do a poo poo. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Rain. Well, no, it's I know. It's raining, bud. Uh, okay. It's what raining. is. I guess. I guess I say shadows. Uh, I'll play Hawk. I will reap with Manchego. You wanna, yeah, you want to actually go outside with the rain? Uh, I'll play a J Venda. I'll play a Hugger Mugger. He's gonna capture one yeah. from you. you um, and then I'll play a Whisper. You can go. That's it's raining hard, right? Isn't it, bud? I will draw four. Okay. I know, bud. <laughs> I know. And it's your turn. Oh yeah, I lose. Okay. <laughs> oh, I lose. Yeah, he didn't have to steal my amber. I didn't have any amber. Wait, what? He had one. <laughs> yeah. I had one? Okay. I captured it with Hugger Mugger. I gotcha. Yeah. So this deck did not have a lot of amber token, amber pips, but it's pretty good at uh, just utilizing its shadows creatures, I'd say. Okay, so we're going to try out Fist Bartleby. This is my second choice. Uh, mine was Rod Sterling here. Rod Sterling. 
At least I forged one key. Yeah. This one has too much protect. It does have Shadow Council, which is pretty cool. Two Kaimor Eclipses could be good. Oh, crap. I mean, <sighs> Pokepaths? Yeah. Well, mine's easy. Oh my god. Yeah. Can't copy paste. Now, I think this deck is good. I think this deck is fast. This okay. deck is probably very fast. You got a better pool than me. I mean, Which I. It's not standard for our steel press. Yeah, I know. I was going to say the, um, the, the core strategy has always been to open up a bust. Open deck. the best deck. There. Open the best deck that's there. And then win with it. Um, and then utilize that deck. That is what you did in Richmond. Yeah. Open to the best yeah. deck and won with it. I think, I, I. I think my deck was probably one of the most raw, powerful decks that was at that tournament. Yeah. Um, I, I think there were decks that matched up well against mine. Um, at the same like, time, you could have had someone open that deck and then not even play it. Yeah, right? not even know the, how busted it was. Yeah. So. R. Sterling. Uh, the, the apostrophe screwed it up, didn't uh, it? Oh, yeah. This deck's got some, uh, it's got double exhume. Go with like the imprinted mermooks. Like, how big of a, how big of an amber swing is that? Where you're like exhume the, the mermook. It's pretty big. Elusive is actually pretty good in this set. It is. Yeah. Like, elusive is very powerful. That's why daughters live so long. Right. Well, that's why, um, that's why Brobnar is so bad, is because Brobnar doesn't have the ways to get the fighting like it used to. And so you, like, to get into the into fighting immediately, like is relentless assault even in this set? I don't think so. We haven't. We it's didn't like see no one. anger, no relentless assault, no gallant of command. You have yeah. ganger chief. You have get and mega ganger chief. Yeah, but that's like it. Um, and it's so core because of because of elusive. You you gotta have ways to like fight and then immediately fight again to get through it. And even just like the unexpected fights the opponent can't plan for. Right. Are big. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. That's uh, it's the old feather in the cap there. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think, especially sealed, sealed key forge has a tendency to make really exciting games towards the end of the tournament, as a lot of as like the best decks piloted by the best players like naturally work their way together so yeah. like um unlike other card games where you have like a paper rock scissors match um i think keyforge just you end up with like just very tight games towards the end like i said i, I was glad that those games were best two out of three because i sure sure did lose uh game one of each of those matches If the whole tournament was best of game, best of one, George wins the whole thing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Right? Yeah. Telling you that right now. Yeah. No, I completely agree with you. Yeah. You Like, there's no way to prepare for that. No. I def I 100% lose to him. St. George. Yeah. <laughs> First of his name. We need to sell uh, Patron Saint of Keyforge lockets for people to carry with them. This is like a picture of George with like his hand hand on a deck and one hand like raised. <laughs> um, What's that? It's me. It's me holding the deck as a prop. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Questionable shuffle. <laughs> questionable shuffling on our practice streams. <laughs> Want to play the whisper?
Uh, I don't. Where where would you say? Where would you say? <laughs> okay, I'll play Rusnar. Oh, good. I don't know where my creatures are. Oh, here we go. Uh, creatures. I'll play Brodnar. I'll play his two artifacts. I guess it's Rusnar. And we're like, we're afraid of this unknown guy. <laughs> oh, yep. This is a great combo already. now. Already looking good. Um, here's the thing. I don't have any other untamed cards in my hand. Great. Um, so, I will, I guess I'll say dis, I'll play Malazan, and then I'll evil eye. Um, and then I will tell you to go ahead and I will draw two. Mm, this is like, uh... Like not that great. Uh, I'm gonna. This, this is gonna look like a really weird play. Okay. I'm gonna play Shadows of Unstun Whisper. And I'm gonna play too much to protect and pass. Okay. So what would you say you're doing over there? I'm not quite sure. What are you up to? All right. This is what's called a pro gamer move. Uh, I'm gonna put a pl uh, plasma nozzle on Malazan. And then I'm gonna Quintrino Flux to kill Malazan and Whisper. So choose Whisper, choose Malazan. Destroy the chosen creatures and each creature with the same power as either. Um, so in this case, it's a three and a five, so they die. So the Quintrino Flux. <laughs> We're gonna play Chief Engineer Walls to get back the Plasma Nozzle. And then I will replay the plasma nozzle on the rust okay. nuller. And then. Oh, I guess I should have played this first. I played this zap first before we got anywhere sure. um, on your dude. And then I will play Garcia. And it is your turn. I will draw. All right, I'm going to say dis. I'm going to play a demon's bane. Okay, got no demons. I will. Collar. I guess that's Rusnar, or this person. Garcia? I don't know. I think it's just Rusnar. Okay. Make him chill. I'm gonna play Imp Spectre. I'm gonna play Lesser Oxset to purge each card in my hand, which is a Grok and a Volcano. Okay. And that's it. Okay, and he reaps to make my keys cost plus three. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to purge my too much to protect. Ah, yeah, I see. Essentially, I see. This makes sense. Okay, this card is stupid. Um, I am gonna say. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say. Star Alliance. And I'm gonna zap. To do three damage to Oxdet. Okay. Zap is stupid. It's very good. It's like punch, but better. Yeah. It's like punch, but you can split it, yeah. and it's probably doing the crap load. Um. Wish you just killed my Rustnower. Nope, he's there. I'm going to put a cloaking dongle on walls, I think. And then I'll just reap with both these guys to go to seven. It might be a mistake to... Well, I get one, one for the, the dongle. dongle yeah. uh, it might be a mistake to go to eight versus shadows. I guess eight is fine. You've already played a too much to protect. I, I would think that the too much to protect is unlikely to be there. So I'll draw. And your turn. Mm. My opponent plays... If my opponent plays a too much to protect in a game in sealed, 
I will if I had the choice to generate forty five amber on the next turn. I'm generating. Oh yeah, 45. definitely. I, I would say Keyforge is a very easy game to get into and learn. Yeah. Hey, have games. you? How many other card games have you played? Um, I'm and, not even sure it matters. I think it's right, like right. really easy to grasp. So if you've is it played, harder? if you I was gonna say, um, if you've played other card games, I think sometimes that can be a detriment because there's a lot of things that don't work the way they do in other games That's in true. Keyforge. Yeah. Um, because Keyforge has a philosophy as doing as much as the as you can on a card, which is unusual for Magic, because a lot of times Magic cards fizzle if you don't have like the proper number of targets anymore or anything like that. I'm the evil eye you. Okay. Keep me off the key. I'm gonna reap with this in Imp Spectre. Okay. Was so it? All right. So you're at six. Um. I could stop you, or I could just play a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna say dis. I mean, sorry, uh, untamed. I'm play Fangtooth Cavern. I'm gonna play. Wow, this is the one that kills the least powerful creature. Uh, I'm gonna play Tintadlin. I'm gonna play Unnatural Selection. Um, we each have three, and then I'm gonna play Wild Spirit on the Tintadlin, I guess. Um, so when I read, that's with really it, good on content title and actually, yeah, because um, it's like you don't want to go fight it. So. Yeah. Um, all right, it is your turn. I will draw up, ready, and then uh, I will kill the least most powerful creature, which is going to be this imp specter, um, and you'll purge a card from my hand. Yeah, I think I think Hearthstone the uh, lends itself very well to learning Keyforge. So the uh, the the latest set that's coming out actually has a well, what's called a deluxe starter that um, is a it's like a fifteen dollars the oubliette the sensor chief and it is all you need to get into the game. I'm gonna pestering blow the ten tad one. So deal one to oh, I forged, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, one enrage it. Okay. I'm gonna play an umbra and an a vinda. And that's it. Okay, my forge. Yep. I am Huh, interesting. I need to try the auto auto battler. I guess it comes out officially next week, right? Well, you can uh play it now, um if you pre order the next set or whatever. I ain't giving them them no money. Uh, I'm going to discard Ink of the Spider. I've given Hearthstone too much money <laughs> already. Um, Tintadlin uh, will fight... Um, uh, sure. Tintadlin will fight the Rust Gnawer, Okay. I guess. Um, I think it's rid of its Enrage token. I will Gravid Cycle... And get back something. Um, Is there a reason not to fight Umbra? I'm gonna kill Umbra with Fang. Oh yeah, okay. Actually, the zap seems good. Yeah, we'll get the zap back with uh, Gravid Cycle. The cavern is so good. So I will say check with six, and then uh, Fang Tooth Cavern is gonna kill Umbra. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna play it next week. Yeah, I'll try it because uh, I like I like uh, I like Dota Underlords a lot. This deck is proving to be my worst deck easily. <laughs> or my second worst. This deck. deck is fast AF. Yeah, that's that's this strong. Deck is crazy fast. I'm gonna look for fast. I think above yeah. all. Yeah. Because here's the thing. I think you you hit people with the fists of the North Star, <laughs> and they don't have time to draw their busted stuff. Exactly. And they can only have so much removal in their deck, right? They can only have 36 cards in your deck that can stop you from forging a key. I'm gonna play Narp. I'm gonna play Skull. I'm gonna play Ogopogo. I'm gonna play Mog Hunter. Guess what none of those creatures do? Anything um, when they come into play? Yeah, interact with the board. Interact at all? with anything. They barely uh, interact with the he, board. I guess he captured. Did you have this? He captured yeah, from yeah, the Shattered Throne. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. All right. Yeah, I mean, if you like Keyforge, even buying a ton of decks is not as expensive as playing Magic, so. It's fine. I thought this guy was play. 
I don't know why it's a fight to deal two damage to a flank creature. Like you can't. <laughs> like, wait, let's look at Oracle Pogo. Let's, He's let's right there. Let's put him right next to each other. He's right there. This is this is you, okay? This is you. <laughs> this is who she tells you not to worry about. Okay? No, the opposite, opposite. No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yes, you're okay. correct. <laughs> it seems pretty bad. It seems Brobnar seems pretty bad. This set. Yeah, it's a shame. It's really a shame. It's it's very because I love me some Brobnar. Very sad. All right, we're gonna say, um, this is actually like this. These are actually relevant here. Uh, we're gonna say, uh, Star Alliance. I'm gonna play Zap. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So I get five damage to spread how I choose. Um, so. I think I gunned down Skull and I gunned down my Rust Gnar. Okay. God, no, oh, get Chief Injury Wells with Collar Subordination. That could be pretty good. Holy crap! Yeah. Where's that deck? And the Kixel Stone? Can you imagine <laughs> just like making it so that your opponent can only play like a handful of creatures and then um, taking them? Um, I am gonna play Galactic Census. Okay, if there's exactly three or exactly four houses, there were five. So if there are exactly five houses, gain two. What is that one, card? One, two, three, four, five. So um, get I get for one for playing it. Wait, uh, I'll only read this card. Yeah. If there are exactly three or exactly four, gain one. If there are exactly <laughs> two, exactly five, gain two. If there are six or more, gain three. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah, That's that really card cool. is very... It's like a. It's like late game... I mean, it, it was... Uh, What's its face right there? It was um, uh, virtuous works. Virtuous works right yeah. there. So okay, and then Walls is gonna reap, um, and he's gonna return an attachment from my discard pile to my hand. So I'm gonna get this plasma nozzle back. I guess I forgot to use my flamethrower um, on my oh Robin Archer. Yeah, did you want to? I yeah, just put the okay. damage on this guys, fine. please. It gives me some. <laughs> Okay. Please. Uh, and then I'm going to give the plasma nozzle to the Tentadlin. Um, I will say check with seven. And it is your turn. I will draw two. Seven. Uh, I guess I, I can fight you off the board a little bit. Or I can fight with Shattered Throne to stop you. Oh, end of the turn. I kill the Inspector. And push a card at random from my hand. It's what was that card? It's called uh, Galactic Census. Yeah, it's actually so that's a card that's actually worse um, because we opened nothing but disc decks. <laughs> There's a lot of cards like that. Uh, I will say Robnar. Attack the Tantadlum. Okay. Uh, it dies. This is yours now. I guess he's a, he's actually got elusive. Oh yeah, yeah. It does not die. He still captures one. Um, Mog Hunter will attack the Tantalon. Okay, it dies, and then you punch. Yeah, him. Aripodoga Pogo. Play a Warriors Refrain. And that's it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna play a Library of the Damned. Uh, I'm going to Festering Touch to deal 3 damage to Narp and the Mog Hunter. Uh, and then I'm going to play Not Finished with you. Shuffling in... I don't believe I shuffle... I'll shuffle in Walls because he's like good. We're from uh, South Carolina. I'll shuffle in Walls because uh, he's just crazy here. Um, I will say check... Um, I don't know if you have a way to stop me because nah. I can I can Georgia right here. Yeah, you can not play any creatures. Man, I think there's a distinct possibility of the George Strat. Like you could have a deck where the George Strat is the Strat. If you can get a deck with the George Strat, you play the George Strat, right? And you beat the dog shit out of everyone. <laughs> yeah. Um. Because like pe people would not be ready for it. No. That's like some next level stuff. We really we gotta like send them a card <laughs> for just like completely upending. Completely upending Keyforge as we know it. All right, so this is what I perceive. Do you think that deck was worse than the first deck you played? I, 
I don't know. They're both pretty bad. Okay. They're both pretty bad. I don't. It's it's tough to say. It it seemed like it. That my that the Robnar was really that bad. that deck that I played seemed better than the first deck, and the first deck was good. Yeah. <laughs> um, that deck was about as fast as I thought it was going to be. It was like even faster, right? I was worried about board, right, against you, or I was worried about board with that deck, and you had a board that game. I still won, right? Because you were fighting. Well, that artifact helps a ton. Yeah. Well, there's enough removal in that deck. Yeah. Like, um, the George tries never play creatures, no matter what. Yeah. Never ever do it. Don't do it. Don't end your turn with creatures on the board. Yes. Um, the reason we call it the George Strat is because he opened up a, an AOA deck that had two Ronnie Wrist Clocks, two Exhumes. Not finished with you. A not a One or two not finished with yous. Three unlocked um, gateways. Three unlocked gateways. He had a Carpet Floxum. And what he did is he would wipe the board like every other turn. And... Um, he would only play creatures and he, he had like enough actions with amber pips in it and stuff like that he would discard all of his creatures to get through his deck faster and then he would have turns where it's like you're at 7 amber so he exhumes Ronnie wrist clocks to stop you from forging and then he wipes the board and so you go and you play some stuff um, and you're like man I really wish I had my opponent had creatures in play so that I could actually use any of my effects that affect creatures because um, a lot of stuff like requires that you actually fight. A lot of stuff requires that you like, um, like Mars in AOA wants you wants your opponent to have a creature in play so that you can like have them capture Amber on themselves. Um, he also, I think he also had uh, uh, Mars needs Amber too in the deck. So he did. Yep. Um, the carpet flocks him and the Mars needs Amber is a combo. Um, so yeah, it's uh, his his deck was an. His deck was like a solid seven out of ten. It was a sol like pretty solid deck, but he like cracked it. He he mentioned that he lost the first um, game of the tournament, but like during game two, he figured it out, and then he just steamrolled everybody afterwards, including Justin, including me. Yeah, twice. Twice. He was, he was my only loss in the tournament. Yeah, twice. Justin beat me. Yeah. Like in the in the the Swiss, and then. Um, uh, and but uh, George just dealt with Justin. Would highly recommend watching Voltor Richmond semifinals. Yeah, to see the George in action. It will it will change the way you perceive uh, Keyforge. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Featuring commentary by me and Justice Blinded. Ruthless <laughs> <laughs> and low, George. Cast his gaze upon the discard pile. Oh yeah, that's Code Red because you uh, you gave him Ronnie. you gave him the answer, Code Red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll enforce this key. Although I might need that to that three <laughs> amber one key lead to get a chance to win. Uh, we'll happen. see. We'll see if this deck is better than the one I just played because I just pretty played. Good. Um. Based off that performance right there, I would have been super happy with that deck. I think I'm like gonna actively not pick a Brobner deck. If it's two Brobner decks and one non Brobner deck, I think I should go with a non Brobner deck. Although who won that die roll? Uh, I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Although my first deck had no Brobner and it, it was pretty miserable. Uh, this is a two-two-two hand. I almost always mulligan these. This one's miserable. It's got like the flex and tremor, graft and wormhole technician. How long does it take to sleeve these? We're, we are professional sleevers at this point. So. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, since this is a new set, um, it does help us to um, actually look at the cards and kind of digest what's going on. Because uh, there's a lot of a lot of like, especially if I were to just like rattle off random Star Alliance dude names. I have no idea. Right. Yeah. May never figure that out. Yeah. Commander Chan. Yeah. What's he Walls. Do? Garcia. Okay, I know actually what all three of those do. Frame. I know, I know what know, she does. I know too. what she does. Okay, yeah. man, never mind. I know the good ones. Yeah. I can't take uh, like Crash Muldoon. That's a thing? Yes. <laughs> Officer Yishi. I remember Officer Yishi. Yeah. She rearranges the battle line. Nope. Wrong. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Lieutenant Kirker. He's got hazardous taunt. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Science Officer Kinkin. Yeah. We remember him. Yep. 
Oh yeah, no, we I uh, shelled out. Um, I would say a good twenty five percent of the expense for his this sleeves. set is sleeves. Yeah, yeah. Science officer Morpheus. He's the double, uh, double play. Double play. I just played that guy. Okay. Sure. I'll uh, I'll play this reassembling automaton. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. All right, dude. This guy is good. I'm telling you right now. This guy, good. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say Starlance. I'm gonna play Chief Ar Officer Garcia. I'm gonna play Crash Muldoon here. He's three power. Deploy. He enters play ready. An action. You can use a neighboring non-Star Alliance creature. So I'm, he's gonna pick up the stunner. He comes in, blazing. What? He's gonna reap. He's gonna stun this dude. I'm sorry, did you want to use this guy? He's stunned. Not really. I like, it's fine. Stunned. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Stunned. I'm going to draw. Good lord. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I will say this. Going to play... Crash Muldoon. I'm going to play a Scullion, who's going to destroy the reassembling ah. automaton, which will exhaust it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, and it loses a uh, stun that way. Does it? Yeah. Oh, because it's, Wait, does it no, say it's not used. It's fully not used. healed. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, okay. That's what I, was I, did, I thought it went to the discard pile. Gotcha. Um, no, it so does no. not. Uh, Crash play, Muldoon! Play Inspector. I'm going to play Gleeful Mayhem. Oh, no. I have, that's a dead Muldoon. It's a dead Muldoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll kill the automaton again, and I'll kill the Inspector. That automaton is good. Yeah. I got some stuff I don't really particularly care for you to discard here. Because you could have killed it, and I'm not sure if that that might have been like a better play uh, by attack. Oh, that, don't, that guy purged. He's purged. Get yeah. that running out of here. Get that nerd out of here. I'm going to play an Infernus. I'll just get both the cards in your discard pile. Okay. I'll get well, one Amber. Stunner's gone. And I'll play Lethal. And that is it. Oh, he actually gets moved to the flank. Oh, he was the flank. Yep. So I played the yeah. Infernus after that. Yep. Okay. Yeah, the automaton with upgrades on it, like key upgrades, that's interesting. Muldoon is out of here. <laughs> Purge Muldoon, crash Muldoon. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I guess we'll see. Okay. Uh... Uh, crash Muldoon. I guess I'll say Star Alliance. I'm gonna reap with Garcia. Uh, I'm gonna play Kirker, and I'll zap, and I'll put uh, three damage into Lilithal. And your turn. I'll draw three. All right. I'll say Brobnar. Discard the Flicks. Play Calphine and give him a Fire Breath. Ooh. Super caffeine. Yeah, this is murders. And that's what I call a mega caffeine. <laughs> now, that's what I call caffeine. Two. Two. <laughs> All right, we're going to see Star Alliance. Uh, I'm going to reap with these two guys. Um, I'm going to play a first officer Frain. I'm actually going to play Frayne right here uh, because of Calphine. If you attack Kirker, you would actually kill both of these. Okay, yeah. Um, but I guess I do kill a Calphine if you do that. Um, yeah, I don't think I want that anyway. Um, I'm going to play Stealth Mode. Let's see if I can force through the key here. I think this is where Stealth Mode shines is when you're threatening a key. Yes. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'll say check with six and draw two. And it's your turn. All right, uh, I'm going to say dis. So I'll reap with the Lilithal to stop that key. Okay. Capture one. Uh, I'll discard this not finished with you, because I can't play no actions. Play another Lilithal. Oh, God. Uh, oh, I guess Frain get, let yeah. me capture one. I'll put it on Kirker, because okay. I think he's there. Uh, Scullion's going to kill the Kirker. Sure. Um, so he does eight. So... Take six. Yeah. Not quite enough to kill Scullion. Scullion is so tanky. Yeah, and Furnace is going to kill the Garcia. Okay. Toast. That's it. 
All right, I am going to say this. I'm gonna play Misery Exploit. We keep talking about how good this card is in this set. Oh, yep, I was wondering um, about that. <laughs> yeah, I get uh, three there. And then I'll play an Infernus, so give me that discard pile. Uh, Gleeful, Mayhem, and Not Finished With You. Pretty good choices. Yeah, so I'll get these. Uh, that makes you lose two. No, these. Okay. You can keep the flex. You can flex the Kelvin. Hey, what are you doing? I'll say uh, check with eight, and it's your turn. I'll draw two. All right. Say logos. Play Igor. Look at these things. I will play Hapsis, play Hide and Bellum. Oh, and no. Wormhole Technician. Okay. Unstun this guy. Just, that's, uh, a, that's a board. Fix up my board here a little bit. Okay. Uh, all right. So I will forge. Yep. I don't remember what it's called. The Logos one that lets you archive purge cards. I don't think we've seen one yet. Universal Recycle Bin. Got it. It's probably very good in yeah. this format. Uh, okay. All of these cards I play are dead. Um, so I guess I'll say Shadows. I'll play a special delivery. Um, just spitting into the wind over here. I'll play a Cell in the Fence. I'll play a Star Alliance Plant. Um, so after a player chooses Star Alliance as their active house, gain one. Um, and then I'm going to mug that Lilithal. So okay. move one from her and deal two damage. That was on Lilithal. And your turn. I will draw... Okay, it's Logos time. Oh god. I'm gonna reap with this hide. So I draw two cards. Because I have Vellum in play. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. I'm gonna reap with this wormhole technician. Reveal the top card if it's Logos play it, otherwise archive it. So archive this mugwump. Hapsis will fight Frain. Frain! So I'll draw a card. Reap with Igor. Reap with the Automaton. Um. Oh yeah, Haps is afforded. Yep. I will... <laughs> Twin Bolt Emission. Uh, in furnace and sell one. Okay. And then I'm going to Positron Bolt. Just all of them. Yeah. Just all of them. Play well. Wormhole Technician. Play Interdimensional Graft. Reap with Vellum. I already have two cards. Jeez. Okay, so I believe I have um, I believe I have to <laughs> do something about this board or lose the game very quickly. Um, I'm going to say Star Alliance. I'm going to play Lay of the Land. Um, I look at the top three cards, put one in my hand, and the rest back in order. Okay, so I'm gonna end up drawing all these anyway. I didn't hit a Star Alliance card there, so I'll just put that there and draw. Um, I am... Okay, so now the question is, well, okay, Lilithal stops. So I'm gonna play Kincan and Ingram. Ingram is gonna ward Kincan. And then I'm gonna special delivery a wormhole technician. That at least activates shadows for me. Yeah. Um, so I can steal one with a uh, kin can there. Um, I'll say check with six, and uh, it's your turn. I will draw two. 
Alright, well, I will say Logos. I'm gonna pick up the archive. I will buy Nate Rupture and Reap with Hide. I guess I forge. Yeah. Alright, so the Hide Reap. Draw two cards. Hapsis is gonna fight the medic. Okay. So ward goes away, ward happens, I draw a card. Wormhole Technician reaps. So Ogopogo's archived. It's a lot of Ogopogo's in that deck. Yeah. Oh, no, it was not in that deck. It, the Ogopogo was in the other deck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to play Data Forge. <laughs> I'm going to keep a plus 10, reduced by one for each card in your hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I forge for 5. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, did I get the one for that before I played it, too? I don't think you did. Okay. I don't know. I don't, I don't think, think I did. I'm going to play an information exchange and steal one. Jeez. We lost, Reap. We lost the game to ridiculous logos board. Reap with automaton. Reap with vellum. Archive two cards. That's a deck right there, man. Woo! It ain't bad. As long as you get, you know, this going. The specific thing. That's it. Okay. Check with six. Um, I am going to say uh, this. I'm going to play key to this like a thousand turns late. Uh, I am going to Infernus you. So give me that. Hand that all over. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, so that's two. I'm going to play Malazan and Lilithal. Um, and then I'm going to exhume uh, I think my other Infernus. I think that's like the only thing I can get here. That, yeah, that one one will take you right. Um, be gone. So I'll play the other Infernus. Give me the discard pile. Mm. Um, we'll get these. I think those are good to get rid of. Let's get rid of all that logo shit. Yeah. Um, and I'll tell you to go ahead. I will draw five. Uh, yeah. Okay. I wonder if that other deck beats this deck because it's so much faster. Maybe. I mean, I think this deck kind of just got lucky, too. I gotcha. Because any board clear is, like, trashes me, right? Yeah. Um, And here I pretty much have to call Logos again, I think. To it's threaten. the only way to threaten. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't stop you in Logos either. Alright, so yeah, Logos. Read with his hide. Draw two. One, and then two. Keyforge is a dad game. <laughs> we don't have kids either. Yeah. Not yeah. But uh, we are older. I think, I think it's... Keyforge is a game who are for people who are dad age that don't have kids. I mean, also you could play it with kids as yeah. a dad easily. Uh oh, more of this. Well, you've been you've been found out. Oh, one more card. Okay. Yeah, I will reap with the wormhole technician. No, oh, I didn't get my amber for reaping with hide. No, I did not. No, yeah, you're start of the turn too. Inspector. Hapsis kills the Lilthal. So I draw a card. Reap Igor, Reap Automaton, Reap Vellum. Archive two cards. And say go. I forge? Yeah, forge. Okay. I am going to say shadows. Got any of that dis? So there are no shadows creatures in play currently. Yep. So I steal one with Kin Can. Yep. 
Uh, the Wookiee is streaming on at Indy. You have like access to virtually everything. Yeah, it's almost the whole deck. Archon's corner, then I, I guess so. Is that what he streams on? Yeah. Okay. There's a bunch of people that stream uh -huh. there, right? Yeah, it's like a rotating cast, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna play special delivery. Here's some keyforge streamers you need to follow uh, in chat right now. I can see too. Yeah. Mortivus and one star peeps five star games. Yep. Mortivus is. Uh, the the day crew I'd say yeah and then one star peeps is like west coast yeah slash east coast I'm in bed <laughs> and then Archon's corner as well <sighs> the Wookie isn't Jupiter but Jupiter is fifth planet keyforge okay <laughs> Angie by the way yeah yes one star peeps also does the IRL streams he did uh he did Be uh, Voltor Vegas which is pretty uh, cool. So I'm going to Pestering Blow. Crit Camp, yep. To do a damage to Hapsis and Enrage him. I am going to trust no one and steal one from you. I will play no safety in numbers. Uh, it does three damage to each creature that belongs to a house that has three more creatures in play. Everything? Everything. I guess this guy lives. Yeah. And Calphine um, lives? Yes. Calphine does, takes no damage here. Okay. Um, and then I'll follow it up with a key to disc yeah. um, to wipe the rest of the board. But this also lives through yeah. that. Yes. Uh, the destroyed on Vellum and Hide don't work because it says archive Vellum for your discard pile if you do archive Hide. So they're neither in the discard pile when they die. Uh, they would they would be in the... I if guess I play Vellum this first in the discard pile, and right? then wipe, they end up in your archives. Okay. Uh, this is all dead. And the automaton's still alive. Yeah, and Ken Ken lives because he was warded. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to play an Avenda. And... Um, and it's your turn. I will draw... Uh, yeah. They all got the bot. Uh, I'm going to say Brobdarn pick up the archive. They all got the bot. <laughs> okay. Play the floor is lava. Okay. That, I think that card. I think this card is actually very good in this. Especially against wards. Because it's it's just smoking wards. Did you choose Brobnar? Yeah. Oh oh. You steal I one? steal one. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Totally fine. Uh, I'm gonna play Mugwump. I'm gonna play Grok. I'm gonna give him a fire breath. Okay. I'm gonna play Ganger Chieftain to Grok on the Avenda. Okay. So kill both. Yep. He takes four. And I'll lose one. I lose one. Yep. Play Ground Nine to his play Ogopogo. Play Narp. I guess discard Tremor. I guess I can just hold Tremor. Yeah, I just hold Tremor. All right, that's it. Jack with six. All right, I say dis. Um, you have not drawn these two cards, correct? These two cards? These three cards? These three cards. No. I'm going to evil eye, and that's it. I say check with six. No. I'll play EE. -E. I'll pitch um, to steal one from you. Okay. Um, 
And then I'll special delivery my own EE. It would die to the floor as lava anyway. Uh, okay. Yeah, whatever. I'll still special delivery it. Yeah, you win. Okay. Woo! Yeah. That game was actually really good. Yeah. It was really close. I had a Soul Snatcher. How good is Soul Snatcher in this deck? The secret to no Glare Sky Jedi is a lot of different lights at different angles that aren't over top. Yes. Um, but the sleeves, we never actually found sleeves that didn't glare. Uh, we bought some anti-glare sleeves and they're terrible garbage trash. I do not recommend. Um, they feel like sleeves from like 15 years ago. I yeah. said that last night. But, but I'm just using Matt Dragon Shields uh, right now. I think Nathan is too. Yeah. Yep, exactly. One star peeps. I seriously, I brought a tent. Yes. I bought a tent and I brought it to right. uh, to Richmond, and I didn't end up needing it. Yeah, for that stream because the uh, the the lighting in the room was actually pretty solid. We we were able to move stuff in such a way that um, we were able to influence like influence the lighting that was there. So would recommend bringing a tent if you ever stream another event if you can uh, manage it because I definitely we couldn't manage it if we were flying there. All right, more prep. More prep. More prep. There you go. Oh, good. More Brobner. God. Kano Claw, the Baron Despot. That's a sweet name. Dis, yes. Much, much dis. Um, yeah, it's all dis. Yeah, anybody who, follow, anybody who followed uh, the events will, will know... Why not orient the camera 90 degrees and get closer? Uh, it doesn't look that great because you end up not getting a good view of the cards on the far end of it. Uh, we did open 100% disc over 72 decks, yes. I should be just doing a prime champ on set where the store is small and I don't think they would like me to take up a tent in the store. Maybe you could find a good spot, at least, that doesn't have overhead lights, but it's probably tougher in a smaller store. Uh, so I got a uh, Maverick Blood Money and Star Alliance in this deck. Okay. That's pretty good, probably. So I would say, so despite the fact that we had all that diss, I think we are actually way over average on Mavericks and Legacies. Yeah. Any update on the 72 diss decks? We have them. Yeah. We're playing with some of them now. <laughs> um, we uh, uh, some, some of our regular viewers have offered to trade us um, decks, which we've taken them up on. Um, so... Um, we're gonna we're gonna mail out some of them because we didn't look. We we opened the boxes. If, uh, you probably do. You still have a box over there? We can show them how we opened it just to check the oh, houses. Yeah. So what we did, we did not look at the deck list. What we did is we just tore just open like the box because you can look at the houses there. Yeah. Um. So, uh, they're just kind of like everybody takes us at our, at our word, which is nice. The cause, um, uh, as far as we know, has not been figured out. Like, at least, yeah. at least Asmodee or Fanciful doesn't say anything yeah. to us. We were, um, we were contacted by Asmodee, by somebody in their PR department, um, who wanted some more information um, about what happened. Um, so, uh, I've, we've been contacted. Um, I, I wrote them back, but we haven't gone anywhere else yet. So We were suspicious after we were, we got, we opened our, like, 20th deck and they were all this so far and we yeah. were like okay we don't want to play with this anymore yeah like, cause, we, cause we were, we've experienced it yeah because we were like very tired of playing against Infernuses and um imp specters and whatnot and so uh chat wanted us to open up open until we got a non-disc deck and then we opened all of the decks and they were all this so yeah yeah i saw brad commented on reddit um um because i had like a twitter thread that i was uh um, updating throughout the day and whatnot. So, somebody had mentioned that there was um, mm. yeah, yeah. Somebody had mentioned that um, at um, How what's he got? What was it? His bandana. A bandana. His bandana. That was like on my desk. <laughs> Eddie. You're too like, wild. I found it. This is what happens when he doesn't have doggy day camp. Yeah. Sink leg, the rogue of anger. Okay, so I'll do the same thing that I did last time, um, where uh, I'll lay out the decks and like count amber pips. Two lay of the lands. Whoa. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing. 
playing brainstorms over here. That's so good. I'll take as many of those as they want to give. Yeah, me. seriously. Red Wait. alert, good too. I could have used red alert last game. Oh, this deck's got three one. blasters in it. It's got Ortano and three black. Okay, so it's got Molina's blaster. It's got Ingram's it, it, blaster. It's got Ingram's blaster and two Ingrams, and it's got Kirby's blaster and two Kirby's. <laughs> what? And it's got more wolves and yeah. the Ortano. Yeah. So it's like it has it has like over a third of the deck is specialized cards. Then yeah, like cards with specialized rarities. That's crazy. What's Kirby's Blaster do? What is Kirby's Blaster? Uh, God, Kirby's you gotta... Blaster is draw two cards when you attach it to him. Ingram's is fully heal, and Molina's is deal three damage to a creature. Okay. Um, it's three sets of blasters in it? Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Right, anyway, here's the Maverick Blood Money. Pretty cool. Looking. That is cool. Hunter or Hunt. Oh, this is a sweet card. I, for some reason, I didn't know. I was not aware of this card's existence. Um, ward a creature or move a ward from a creature to another creature. I'm going to link this writer deck because it's really interesting. Friendbergs. Special rarity four. <laughs> Destroy each artifact, exhaust each creature with an upgrade. Tachyon Pulse. That seems bad in this deck with three blasters. <laughs> yeah. You like. Unless you, you could like use them, I guess, and then it doesn't matter. Oh, we got it. We got it. Chief Engineer Walls and Collar. Yeah. yeah. Could be pretty good. We got the combo. We're trying to do the chained. I just don't don't know if I even like that guy. He's actually probably better in this set. Yeah, maybe. My yeah, this deck seems interesting. I, I I don't know if this is the best one. It does have two poltergeists in it too. God. Yeah. Jeez. Obsidian Forge. Blood Shard Imp. Evil Eye. Someone just registered a Rot Grub in Untamed. That's pretty interesting. Now, Writer's on high on my list just for interestingness. Uh, yeah. I don't know how great it is, but it seems cool. You, you're like you're gonna play against somebody, and you're just gonna keep playing special card after special card. <laughs> they're like, they're "What gonna, do you do?" And they're gonna be like, "Excuse me, yeah, excuse me, WTF." <laughs> the shadows in this deck does not look great, but it does have a significant number of amber pips here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen amber pips. So a lot of amber pips. I guess you don't have to be in like the. Two lay of the lands make it so that you just like zip right through this deck. I still just if they uh, if they made an official KeyForge client, I just don't know how they make money. Right. I don't know how they make money because like Cause you, have you don't want to stop people from buying in person decks. So that's like the whole appeal is yeah your decks are unique and if you buy digital only deck then that deck doesn't exist in real life. Right. You right. Just do. I think you have to you have to have it so that they have that you like have to purchase a. Um, you get texts whenever uh, Mavericks get found, Sky Jedi. That's cool. In your API. That's awesome. Uh, this is a Saurian Starlines disc deck. What is Dr. Driscoll? Uh, I don't know. He's a rare in Star Alliance. Um, action, heal two damage from a creature, gain one for each damage heal this way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We had that. I think we opened that guy, right? Uh, no, no, no. I, I think I was playing, when I played against uh, Justice Blinded um, at uh, Richmond, he had some more quad decks that were interesting. I think I had that in the deck, and it was just, like, going crazy in that game. Yeah. This deck has four Rust Gnawers. Any legacy maps yet? No, unfortunately not. Nope. We haven't seen no. one in real yeah. life at all, I don't think. We're not that lucky. 
There are two. Two, period. Holy crap. Sky Jedi, why is it taking your bot so long to find that deck you're linking? <laughs> What's up with that? It's too powerful. What is Jujubees? Is it some sort of... Some not, sort of meme I'm not aware of? Some sort of meme where... Uh, oh, it's a, it's a German deck too. Mavericks 1, Legacy 1. A persistence hunting in Star Alliance. That's really interesting. Hmm. It's, it's basically like a fog, right? Yeah, so I'm really sick of seeing discards, man. I know. Like all these discard sides are bringing down uh, decks that I think are otherwise interesting. Yeah. This deck has two exhumes. Pretty good. I think exhumes great always, but I'm I'm pretty glad they reprinted that. This deck looked very mediocre. Um, this one did too, but despite being sorry in Star Alliance, looked pretty mediocre. It, it does have Exhum and Witch of the Wilds, which is pretty interesting, right? Because you can um, Exhum the Witch of the Wilds and then play an Untamed card, like out of phase. I got three volcanoes in this one. This deck does have a ton of Untamed creatures and two Song of the Wilds. So it's like if you play a bunch of Untamed dudes. It also has Witch of the Wilds and Song of the Wilds. So. You could play Song of the Wild during a non-untamed turn and reap with a bunch of dudes that they weren't expecting. Of. Um, so, uh, this deck also has three Harbinger of Dooms, which I imagine is going to be a discard most of the time because you have like fifteen cre or like like twenty something creatures in this deck. Yeah. So, um, this deck is called Cauldron of Trash Cops. <laughs> um, so I uh, I think it was aptly named. Mm, we've got the Shadow Cancel. The Sele Committee over here. God, that's a lot. <laughs> How long does it take? Six days. <laughs> hey, it's got a Ronnie. Sweet. Always good. 12.8 days. Holy crap. That's just getting worse and worse, too. Eleven artifacts is a lot. So, I think these decks are significantly worse than the ones I just opened. I, I think only the only one I'm really excited about is the, the first one I looked at. Oh, you shouldn't have to do that game. Okay, good, good. I was worried you have to do that every time a new set comes out. Is Logo Shadows Dis deck? Logo Shadows Dis is a pale comparison to what it was in uh, Coda. It like, has two Tau Tau Vapors. That's always good. Yeah. yeah it's got Tau Tau Vapors uh, in uh, Eddie. Oh man. Yeah. Eddie actually combos with Cutthroat Research of which this deck has two. Um, I think Cutthroat Research is like Much actually better. good in this set. Yeah. Especially like, with Eddie, right? Yeah, yeah. You can make it... Um, I've got to master the theory in Eddie. Hmm. So... Um, this deck's done some sweet stuff. It's got two scullions. Yeah, yeah. Sure, that's a George card. Okay. It's a, creature that, it's a creature that puts itself in your discard pile for you so you don't accidentally play it. <laughs> <laughs> and he can even put himself in the discard pile. Yeah. <laughs> in case you do accidentally play him. Alright, I think this is an easy choice of this being my worst deck. Uh, Raffi. I think this trash. This trash cops deck is my worst. Trash cops. Alright, so here's the deck I'm going to play first. This is the one I perceive to be my worst judge. 
a bison doter. Okay, I think I think it's this one is the worst. Um, this one is probably second. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on in this one, and then I think maybe this one. This one had a lot of amber pips, so I'm gonna rate this one pretty highly. Um, this is two, and then uh, trash cops. Double Trix plus Scoot is pretty good. I like Trix a lot. Yeah, Trix is sweet. Uh, you can open them. Yeah, you can open them. Yes, you can. You can manipulate them. You can move them around, which is important, I think, especially now. this early. Yeah. No this... one. No one that goes there is gonna know every card. I don't know every card. Yeah. I would constantly be surprised by rares. I'd be like, oh my god, I didn't know I can lose this card kind yeah. of thing. It wasn't like AOA where, where I felt like in, in AOA there weren't rares that would just beat you by their existence. Um, <sighs> and this you're going to play a card, they're going to say a card, and you're not going to immediately know what it's doing. Yeah, yeah. Like we did with AOA. Like in, uh, in AOA... Your opponent plays five Sanctum dudes, and you're like, okay, uh, Obeyed matters to me, and um, Sir Marrows matters to me, and Barrister Joya matters to me, but like Baltrum and Chael and those guys like almost didn't matter. Yep. Uh, I don't know. I don't. We don't know. I mean, yeah. I and we're not expecting. If if there's so here's the thing. If the problem is with distribution. Um, if there's if there's a problem distribution wise, uh, it could affect the tournament. It could affect vault, the vault tour, right? If I sit down and I can talk to, and I can look like left and right of me, um, down the table, and I could see like twelve decks, and they all have the same houses in them, then that can like um, influence my decision about like what I would pick you know an 11 I mean bizzle trash on these it doesn't matter dice I get bizzle trash in the games <laughs> so it's fine you know cause uh cause Justin and I were talking about how EE on the fringes is really good when every single deck has dis in it and the Starline stuff that cares about multiple houses being played is worse is worse yeah. cause like it, you're more than likely gonna have a mirror match right you know if you have Starline's dis then you know it's already slightly less effective than it was. Yep. So. Okay. Sure. All right. Do I think I can do better? I think I can. Yeah, I mean, I was I was upset. Like we, especially for us, because we want. A great sampling size yeah, I'm of not, decks. I'm not like angry, angry. It's not like it's, they're worse. It's just we have right, right, right. We didn't even go through all the decks, right? So there could yeah. be anomalies in there. There's all kinds of stuff that could be in those decks that would still, you know, make them valuable. They could still be pretty good. We played a lot of decks that I thought were pretty powerful. Um, but the problem is we're experiencing like forty percent of what the set has to offer um, because there's so many other house combinations that are possible. Um, and we just like we just don't have any of those decks. Yeah, it does. It seems like they just printed an order and didn't shuffle exactly. Also, it's like our normal stop time, and uh, we've only played three games. Yeah, I think these games are much longer. We did spend a lot of time sleeving and talking yeah. about decks, yeah. though. So that's that accounts for like at least one or two games, right? But, the games but these games, these games longer. are much longer. Yeah. Um, I got a feeling it might be kind of like AOA was at the very beginning, where the the games are sloggy until you realize how to make them fast. Yeah. 
<laughs> I will keep this hand. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Sure. Uh, how many of these are... Okay. I, I'm going to play Exhum. And then I'm going to play th three Harbingers of Doom. Okay. And your turn. Uh, the judges will absolutely be busy with questions this this turn yes. this weekend. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hundred percent. Okay. I'll say Star Alliance. I'll play an Armsman Molina. Is ready to kill a Harbinger of Doom. I guess. Okay. I will play a Medic Ingram. I will. I award foolishly award. Yeah. I'm gonna. We can all win. Keys cost minus two until the start of my next. Oh, turn. that card seems very good. And I'll cloaking dongle this arms master. Okay. Running only steals two if there are eight or more. I trust in the yeti judges uh, more than that. <sighs> yeah, the the yeti judges yeti judges actually have played the game. Yep. Um. So. Uh, I'm going to say Untamed. I'm going to play two Rust Gnars, and it's your turn. I'll draw two. Those Rust Gnars. Okay. I'm going to say Brobnar. Mock is going to go ahead and blow up a Harbinger and kill the world except for Arms Master. Uh... It it is destroyed, oh, destroyed three destroyed, times. Destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. It does not die to the first Harbinger. I'm going to discard Volcano and play Grok. The, uh, the Harbinger is two and three. <laughs> Make sure the job is done. Uh, all right. I am going to see Saurian. I'm going to play Regrettable Meteor. And then I'm going to play a bunch of Saurians. Oh, my God. I hope you're ready for these guys. Okay. I am ready to get absolutely just like absolutely annihilated by some disgusting Saurian decks over yeah. the weekend. Alright, I'll play Library of the Damned, all festering touch. To do one there, one there. Play Spider, play Bornet. And then Hmm. Oh, man, this Brobnar is garbage. <laughs> it's really bad. I'm gonna have to take a bathroom break in the middle of this game. I thought I could. I thought I could wait, but I cannot. Oh man. Take my phone with me. Be right back. <laughs> um, man, I kind of want to take a bathroom break too. Can Eddie entertain you guys for like two minutes? Cross streams. We have more than one bathroom. Look, look, luckily. Thanks for the follow, Squid Dynamite. Much appreciated. Actually, if I, if I leave the room, Eddie will follow me. So he won't even entertain you. Play the game rather than look for rules to misunderstand. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to see a lot of posts on the Facebooks in the coming weeks, I betcha. We already see a lot, but, you know. Uh, but let me tell you something. The dog's name is Eddie. Eddie, come here. He's here. We I'll also have some Eddie playtime. How about that? Hey. Oh yeah. Look at this, look at this precious boy. Where's his ball at? You know where your ball is. Hey. Ah. Eddie, four legs. Yeah. That's right. It's funny because of uh, the Eddie card being printed. So perfect. He's so happy. Come here. Uh, what sort of thing I can bring? Where's your, where's your ball at? Hey, where's your ball? It's gone. I'm just gonna pet him for a little bit. Hey. Thanks for that follow, you're no fun. Oh, he left. Oh, he's back. Okay. 
Ugh. Whisper in house dis. Sweet. This Eddie is wild. Martian Hounds and Shadows is like not not exciting at all. But it's it's Legacy Mavericked? Is it Legacy Mavericked? It's kinda weird, but it's terrible. Thanks for the follow up. John Chatty. It's pretty bad. It's really bad. You sitting there, Eddie? Got your bone? It's no Bumblebird. Coda deck. Okay. Okay. People are still opening in Coda decks. Are you saying that there's never been a Martian Hounds in Shadows before? That's interesting. That's from the rescrape. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Was it Nathan's turn? I don't even remember. I just played this crappy disc stuff. Yeah. Constantly on for speed sigil decks. You do love your speed sigil decks, Lord Farquaad. Hey, you left me. Oh my gosh. I'm all alone now. I have I still have a boxed coda deck that we'll we'll give away at some point. I also toyed with the idea of like Putting a AOA and, an, and a Coda deck into the 100 decks tournament. Oh, no problems, Florida winner. You didn't miss a ton. There were, some, there were actually some really good games. Really interesting stuff, but... You know, all discs, all the time. I, it, I don't think it's a terrible idea to just get a box of Coda and sit on it for a while. Value could go up on unopened coded decks. Never know. Are you guys going to any releases tonight? I know Bill and Stormstrong usually are here, but I think they're they're doing a late release. You have one coda box you're saving. Yeah, I don't. I think that's probably a good idea, especially if the game gets big at some point. Like at any point, the game could take off, right? Not if they have printing issues, though. Maybe Saturday? Cool. Really excited for this Voltor though. Does anyone else go into the Voltor in chat? In Indy? We're flying out late tomorrow night. I'm gonna get there. He's doing a midnight release with crazy sales on Coda displays. That's cool. It still has original print run decks because they don't sell them. That's weird. I guess like our stores around here don't sell anything. Yeah. Eddie, you, you got your other it. toy. <laughs> 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 okay. I think it was your turn, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm trying to decide what to do here. Um, okay, Eddie. Have it? You drop it? You drop it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So... Yeah, I don't think necessarily original print run decks are stronger. One, two, three, four. I don't think we're the only thing that keeps Keyforge afloat. <laughs> no. That's that's not true. No, we can't. So. We cannot. I, we I, can't keep it afloat locally. It is not afloat. It yeah, is, it is sunk. It's gone. I would say. I would say uh, the Crucible itself probably does more for the game than we do. Uh, we are the local scene. Yeah. In, so in the entirety of South Carolina, this um, this room right here. This you're watching the local South Carolina scene. I'm gonna reap with this dude, and I'm gonna exalt him to gain one. I'm gonna reap with Odak. I'm gonna reap with. Centurion. Um, Legatus Raptor is going to go fight, I think, Spider. Uh, I will exalt the Legatus Raptor to ready Thero Centurion. I think there are double time traveler decks in AOA. And he's going to fight Groke. Uh, 
capture one. That's, that's so bad. I will say check with six, and it is your turn. Brobnar is terrible, Nathan. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, I don't like... I guess I'll say Brobnar. I don't have a volcano. I, I have two bombs. Uh, our channel has served as a um, Keyforge singles meetup before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... I'm gonna discard. I'm gonna say Brobnar. Discard Narp and two barn raisings. <laughs> I don't want to play Narp with Borna on the table. Yeah, it like makes them completely yeah. useless. Barn raising uh, does I mean, nothing. Do you, uh, you don't have any discards, so you can't even like get use out of Borna right. plus the Library right. of the Damned. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. Because if you could like play one and then archive one, it would be like tempting to do that. All right. So I'll forge. Which is terrible. Just terrible, Eddie. I will say, I'll say dis. I'll discard misery exploit. I'll play a Malazan, and I'm gonna born its touch. Um, so give me them top five cards. I'm gonna love seeing this card against me tomorrow. Or born Saturday. it, yeah. What? What is this card? After an action is played, before it resolves, ward this creature. Yeah, that card is awesome. Yeah. Uh, Volcano's kind of bad for me. Drain Touch does nothing to me. Uh, yeah, I'll get Volcano. Okay, purge that. Um, just because it <laughs> murders all my dinosaurs. Who've already dodged a meteor. <laughs> uh, fr has fr so much already. And your turn. I'll draw three. So much trauma in their lives. Two double time traveler decks in one side event. Ugh. Jeez. Well, Tin foil hats. Well, no, yeah. that was Archon, I think. Right? I believe it was Archon. Oh, I could, I could definitely see that. So you're just going to see that. Yeah. It's just going to think. It's a thing you got to be ready for. Um, and uh, an imp. I mean, sorry, imp furnaces are going to come in to the format and just de destroy time travelers forever. I'll say this. I'm going to play. A rock grub. Make you lose one. Yeah, uh, no. Play with all an imp specter, archive, a card, reap with born it. So you look at the top five. And purge one. Song of the Wild South on a tribute. Tribute. Goodbye, tribute. I'm sorry, you didn't want me to capture much cards? No. Me? Not particularly. Uh, that's a good point, one star peeps. Why am I scared of tribute when I only have one amber? <laughs> the fact is, it's in his decks. So he could draw it like way later, and then I'd be mad. You have this, so I gotta get rid of these damaged creatures sooner or later. That's a good point too. Do I have? I don't know. Maybe I do have misery <laughs> explain. I don't know. I could have it. It's just so likely. I could have it. It's a common. Uh, I guess. Noel Scott Jedi, you are the premier digital Keyforge things, like everything. <laughs> so don't be too surprised. <laughs> we don't know Jupiter now. Not personally, no. no. We've uh, we, you know, we've chatted throughout the various interfaces here and there, but. Uh, we never met him in person. Uh, he is he going to any or is he going to PAX? He's going to one of these. Um, all right, I'm gonna say Saurians. I'm gonna play Auto Legionary. Okay. Um, Albany. This guy's gonna reap. And do I want to exalt? I feel like you probably do. Because I'm ahead. Considering how far ahead you are. Yeah.
Albany is the one local one we're not going to, or the one recent one soon. Um, is that one Archon? He's going to reap Archon Survival. I'm totally fine not being there. Uh, Legatus Raptor is going to fight Rock Grub. Okay. Um, I will exalt him to ready and use another creature. Malazon, maybe? Yeah, I don't feel that I can contend in Archon very well. I'm playing an Archon at PAX, but I really am not looking forward to it. Uh, we'll have so the thing is we'll have some hands-on time for worlds collide between then, uh, between now and then. Now and then, so um, there's a good chance that the worlds collide could be very powerful in Archon, and we might be able to find a deck that we think is good enough for it. So, um, Malazan will fight Lilithal. And your turn. I could have threatened there, but like Lilithal just stops me on board, so I didn't particularly want to do that. And I'll draw one. Your turn. Okay, I'll we'll say this. Uh, I'll play Malzon, play a Soul Fiddle. Archive right card. I will. A Reap of Warnet. We'll play in a Vault Warrior probably if there's one uh, that is Close. in a convenient place yeah. to us. Um, I don't think we're going to travel super far for those. But we'll get... go if it's convenient. Like Atlanta. We go to Atlanta. I and mean, then. Uh... Is the big money one, is that invite only, or is that everybody? I think the big, big one, you can go for, like, qualifiers. Okay. That's in Florida. Miami. The one in Miami? Well, I, I could see us going to Miami. Yeah, so. we could we could probably pull Miami out. That's it. Oh, you can pull a sealed deck out of chat. <laughs> That's cool. The qualifier of the day before. Uh, okay, okay. The questionnaire for the Vault Warrior prelims was weird. I okay. could see that. Huh. Yeah, the thing is, uh, I, I, like, if we want to play in Vault Warrior, we have to do so much prep. Um, for Vault Warrior because it's all Archon gonna it's all gonna be Archon all constructed formats and um, that makes me just not want to play in any of, any of them yeah <laughs> I'm super not excited about all about how much your players love Keyforge that's kind of creepy What about adaptive? I would love adapt. I would love uh, the bidding adaptive, like yeah. single game adaptive. I wish that that was a thing. Like I would play Archon if there was single game adaptive. That'd be great. But like, if it's regular adaptive, best two out of three. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, 100 minute rounds. But I think the single game adaptive is would be super skill testing, and they probably should make that a good a, official format soon. Um, all right, so I'm gonna say uh, sorry. I'm gonna play Senator Shrix. Uh, I will exalt him. Why not? Might as well keep piling amber on your guys. Uh, I'll play an auto legionary. Um, I'm gonna reap with this dude. I don't actually think I exalt him here because I'll have like enough amber. Uh, I'll reap with these two guys. Put me in a seven. Well, Goddess Raptor, I think, finishes off Bornet. They rarely went to game three. That's every time we tried to like play test adaptive, we never went to game three either. Um, so. I'll exalt him and I'll send the auto legionary into the Malazon. And I will check and say uh, I'll check with seven. Alright, I'll say Star Alliance. I'll draw have. one. Play an Information Officer Gray. You can archive a card. Archive this here, Ogopogo. Okay. Play Explore Over, play Arms Master Melina. I guess I'll put that there. Uh, I'll play Comms Officer Kirby. 
And I'll have a non Star Alliance artifact upgrader action I could play. Yeah. I'll give him a counter suit. And that's it. Yep, still not uh, affecting your board or All stopping right, you from so forging keys. For five, uh, I'll spin the one off Senator Shrix. Um, and flip. A bigger event that's like reversal, like imagine a reversal Voltor. I think you could do it. I don't know how many people would show up, but it would be really interesting. Um, Senator Shrix is going to reap, and I'll exalt him. And then the Quester Jarta is going to reap, and I'll exalt him to gain one. And then Odak and the Theros and Tyrion are both going to reap. So it'd be seven. The sealed auction uh, is really good for side events for sure. Uh, Legatus Raptor is going to reap, so I'll be at eight. I'll yep. say check with eight. Next, just pack them all on up. <laughs> yeah, just packing them on up. Stupid dinosaurs, man. I, don't, I couldn't uh, volcano them. <laughs> so. Get this deck out of here. This deck is garbage trash. <laughs> I don't even want to see it again. Dinosaurs. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Uh, World's Collide Hot Takes. Uh, hot Takes, the Saurians are stupid. Like, legit stupid. Um, Saurians are the house that uh, Sanctum wanted to be. Does that make sense? Um, all the things Sanctum was good at. Capturing Amber. Fighting. Uh, having big dudes. Having armor. Um, having synergies. Uh, Saurian does all that. And better. So... I think that I think Saurians just are crazy good, and then Star Alliance is the house COTA Mars wanted to be. Um, so uh, I think Star Alliance. No, I'm not saying that you can't b draw bad versions of those houses. Um, yeah, like I think that was a bad Star Alliance board. Yeah, um, like, uh, and I think Star Alliance is probably more dependent on the rest of your deck than um, maybe Mars was. Because a lot of the star, like a lot of the best Star Alliance stuff, lets you use stuff from the other houses. So, um, you know, like if you've got good stuff to play from the other houses, the Star Alliance kind of like just lets you do that. The so. best deck tonight, I think, was your your super fast deck. The second deck you played, that deck was fast. Tonight. Yeah, the second game of the night, Nathan's deck. I don't remember what the name was. It and one before. Yeah, so I mean, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the so, a lot of the things that we've seen so far are very reminiscent of AOA. If the games have been blowouts, it's where the opponent plays a... where you play a board... You just use it. And you use it, and your opponent can't stop it. Yeah. Um, those have been the games that have been blowouts. Exactly, exactly. I mean, and I don't... I didn't hate COTA Mars. There was a lot of cool stuff you could do with COTA Mars. Um, but there were a lot of COTA Mars sides where you're like... Gromid, double phosphorus stars... Um, and you just kind of felt really, really bad. Get all your toys. Okay. He's got. He's, <laughs> he's gonna let you know it's time to play. Collecting all toys. Uh, so just that's the deck I'm playing right now. Making piles of toys. Raffy. You, you didn't play with enough Battle Fleet decks then. If you hated, um, <laughs> you hated uh, CUTA Mars. Ring, 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 ring. Polluted mortuary. <laughs> Raffy. Yeah, all the Mars, all the Mars dudes, like, like the, all the Mars dudes were similar in size to like the Shadows guys, except they didn't have elusive on like the dudes you really needed elusive on. You had a couple guys who were elusive, like Mind Warper and um, Zookeeper. Those were the best guys, but like guys like Bolter, you really wanted. Bolter was such a weird card, right? Because he was a three power dude who wanted to fight in the first set. So, yeah, Tonk was good, right? Like Tonk could do a lot of work. Um, so. Mars bad penny. Pretty bad in Mars. Yeah.
Man, I'd... Yeah, Mars and Speed Sizzle is a good combo. Grabber Jammer, good. I love Grabber Jammer. Grabber Jammer is a great card. It is good. It's solid. Uh, uh, what was his name? His username was Encrypt. Uh, it was a guy I played um, uh, the Cash Money Tournament earlier this year. Uh, his deck had three Grabber Jammers in it. <laughs> it's pretty good. He also had uh, Sacrificial Altar. And he could Sacrificial Altar um, to put like Grabber Jammers into play from his discard pile. Her going back to the hand is not totally irrelevant in Mars, that's true. Right. Crystal Hive is, is pretty sweet. Yeah, Crystal Hive was good. And that was the thing about Sky Booster Squadron in uh, AOA. Sky Booster Squadron had a ton of synergy. If Sky Booster, if Sky Booster Squadron, you replace a couple cards, and uh, you replace a Vizima Think Drone in um, COTA Mars yeah. with uh, Glixel Pro Proliferator, Okay. Okay. And then you replace um who was a middling Mars creature that you could put Sky Booster instead. And then COT Mars goes bonkers. Uh, Marauder. Marauder. Marauder, yeah. You you replace Yeah, Marauder. Boom. There we go. Hmm. Yeah. Uh replace Marauder with uh Sky Booster Squadron. And uh COT Mars looks pretty good, in my opinion. You replace Gromid with slap uh, a resonator in there. Yeah, you replace Gromid with a resonator. Uh, I actually win this roll. You won the roll. Oh my god, you did it. Okay, so I will keep this hand. And first turn, I'm gonna play Tau Tau Vapors. To draw two and archive one. It's pretty good. Oh man, this deck is doing some things. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Okay, I'll say Star Alliance. Discard Red Alert. To play a Zap. I'll Stealth Mode so you can't play Actions. And I'll play okay. a Commander Chan. Okay, uh, I'll put my archives in my hand and I'll say uh, dis. I'm gonna play Infernus. I'm gonna get rid of uh, stealth. I'm gonna just get rid of Zap and the uh, stealth mood. Get him out of there. Uh, then I'll play a Blood Shard Imp. And it is your turn. Love Infernus. Love yeah, it. that's great. Uh, I'm gonna play Saurian. I'll so salt, so creatures can't, can't be used to reap until my next turn. Okay. Play Thero Centurion and Perfectus Ludo. Okay. All right, I'm gonna say shadows. Uh, I'm gonna play Shadow Council and Subtle Mall. I'll play Jade Venda. I'm gonna pestering blow. Um, I'll do one damage to Prefectus Ludo, I guess. All right, and your turn. I will draw uh, and draw. Okay, mm, I'll say dis. Play Gleeful Mayhem. <laughs> Chan dies. Yes. Ludo will die. No, yes. actually, Ludo. I'll just kill. I'll hit um, Theros Centurion. Okay. That card is insane. Gleeful it is Mayhem. really good. I, th uh, I think that card is crazy. Get the Shadow Council. Just in case. And I'll get the. I'll get the Blood Shard in. Okay. Actually, you know what? I will get Infernus. Okay. Get Infernus. Play Lithal, play Malazan, play an Evil Eye. Okay. Your turn. Kind of want a George Strat here. Can't go wrong. Uh, 
I'm gonna subtle maul you. I'm gonna say shadow, subtle maul. This is uh, like a it's questionable play. Uh, don't mind seeing that guy gone. Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna reap with Jay Venda, uh, who will die. Uh, he'll do. Does he still get to do his one damage? He does. Okay, so I'll do the one damage to, I suppose, Malazan. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna hawk my subtle maul, which kind of. Mm, I mean, yeah. I'm not, not crazy about that play. It's possible, like I should have waited. So, uh, anyway, your turn. I'll draw one. All right. I'll say this. Lethal's gonna kill Blood Trident and capture one. I'm gonna Fist Ring Touch and choose no creatures. Play <laughs> Buzzle. And actually, I'm gonna. Hold on. Read with Malzon. Play Edorome. Play Buzzle. Purge Edorome. Ready and Reap. Buzzle, I think, is actually one of the better discards. This, yeah, it's uh, interesting. It's got a lot of, like, um, it's just very explosive. So I'll say check with six. Uh, okay, so I can't stop the six. I am going to say Logos. I'm going to play Tau Tau Vapor to draw two. Um, I will information exchange to steal one from you. Uh, I'm gonna play Cutthroat Research. You said you couldn't stop the six. You liar. Oh, I drew it. You cheated. I drew it. You cheated. You said you couldn't stop it. <laughs> then you I stopped drew. it. I oh drew. Oh my it. god. I couldn't stop it. Then it. But then yeah, it you could. lied to me. I, Lying is I illegal you, in Keyforge. I looked you in the windows of your soul. Oh my and god. And I told you I could not stop the key. And then I'm gonna play Master the Theory. Oh my god. And I'm just gonna archive this whole hand. Oh, did you archive from Telltale? But I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's all getting archived. Yeah. It's all going to archive for the Master of the Theory. Uh, I'll say check with six, and it is your turn. I'll draw six. Okay. I will. I'm glad this card was reprinted. That card I'll is sweet. Say dis. I'm going to reap with Lethal. He'll capture one. I'm going to reap with Buzzle and Malzon. I'm going to play a Buzzle. I'm going to purge this Buzzle. Yeah. <laughs> I will discard Harbinger of Doom. That's a recipe for disaster. I'm going to play Dendrix. I'm going to reap with Buzzle. And end my turn. Okay. Mm, I'm going to say Logos. Uh, I'm going to play Thorium Plasmate. Uh, so I'm going to dump this guy between these two and then I'll take four. So it explodes. Lilithal's gone. I'm dead. dead. Lilithal's dead. You can't play her anymore. Um, and then I'm going to play a Titan Guardian and a Reassembling Automata. And your turn. I'll draw three. That's a Forge. I will. You flip your key. Flip my key. I got to check with eight. But... I will say Star Alliance. I'm going to play a Dr. Driscoll. This is a heal two. Ah, okay. Game one for each damage healed. Um, play Explorer Rover. I'm gonna play Xeno Training. For each house represented among friendly creatures, a friendly creature captures one. So oh, dang. I can capture three. My oh, god, stop that. Each other friendly creature. Okay. And uh, your turn. Oh, uh, I actually. That. I, uh, she died, and I took that amber. Oh, Lithal? Yeah. So that should be, two should be gone for your yeah. pool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, I may have, um, so two should be gone for the pool. Yeah. You, you had to play that to stop me anyway, I guess. Right. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. I, that kind of sucks. Uh, I probably would have played that differently, but I think this is like a good example of like be how, aware. right, like how things can probably go really wrong. Yeah. Um, oh, right. Anyway. Um, yeah, I think I would have played that differently. All right. Anyway, so I'll draw. And uh, judge, you judged. I am going to, mm -hmm. or sorry, put my archives in my hand. I'll say this. I am gonna festering touch. I'm gonna do a damage to um, Dendrix and Buzzle, and then I'm gonna misery exploit for five. 
The card is hidden for so much. I know now. that misery exploit. Misery exploit went from like a C minus to like a B plus. Yeah. I'm gonna play an outer room. I'm gonna play a Dendrix. I'm gonna play a Scullion, and I'm gonna sack the reassembling automaton. Um, and then I'm gonna play another Scullion, and I'm gonna sack this Titan Guardian to draw to. Hmm. And then I will play another Edoram, and I will say check with nine, and it is your turn. I will draw one. The demons are here. The demons. The demons are here. Uh, Edoram is E T A R O M M E. Uh, I will say sorry in. Edoram seems particularly good in a mirror match. I'm going to reap with this Centurion. He captures one. No, he, uh, he's play fight. Oh, he's not reap. What the heck? What the heck? Um, Prefectus Luda will... I'll attack Dendrix. Uh, he's got an armor. Oh, he's five. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Shit, sorry. I thought you were going to attack like an Edoram or something. <laughs> uh, I'll Regrettable Meteor to kill okay. everything with seven power, or six power or higher in each dinosaur. Okay. Muscolians. We'll play a Tracerian Legionary. I'll ward this doctor. I'll play another Tracerian Legionary. I'll ward... I guess I'll ward Malazan. I'll play a Questor Jarda. And I'll say check with six. God, Sarians are so stupid. Yeah, you do forge. <laughs> Sarians are crazy. I'm gonna say shadows. I'm gonna pitch bad penny. Uh, I'm gonna play a hugger mugger. Keep you off the key. And then I'm gonna play an umbra. And then I'm gonna play inky gloom that says you cannot use uh, your opponent cannot use creatures to reap on their next turn. And it hmm. is your turn. I will draw. That's a pretty good card. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad it doesn't have an amber pip on it. Yeah. I think her would be busted with an amber pip. I'm gonna play star alliance. I will heal two off Malazan. I gain one with her action. Explore over will take Umbra out. I'm going to slap Kinkin down there. I'm going to put a Lieutenant Kirkar over here. And I'm going to put CXO Traber there. Okay. Let me just figure this battle line out real quick. It's your turn. I'll say check with six again. Okay. I am going to say Logos. Uh, I'm going to Twin Bolt Emission. I'm going to shoot Kin Can. I don't, say, I don't necessarily think you're throwing if you play a non-Saurian deck. I'll kill Buzzle. But they, uh, they're they pretty likely to be good. Even like a random smattering of dinosaurs is probably pretty good. Like just on board presence alone um, and the abilities they have. I'm going to play an Eddie and Archive a card. I'm going to play a Babbling Bibliophile. And then I'm going to reap with Reassembling Automaton and uh, go to uh, six. So I'll say check with six, and it's your turn. I will draw one, two, three, and four. Okay. I'm going to say Saurian. God, there. I forge, I, I guess. I, right? no, no, I don't. Um, you do not. Okay. Eddie makes it cost seven. Um, I, I think there is a potentially really busted Shadows deck. If you have 
Ronnie's and like hit and runs and yes, stuff. That's Can you imagine Ronnie, that stuff? Yeah. Can you imagine how mad you would be? <laughs> if I, like, I do have a one Ronnie hit and run deck. Your opponent, your opponent is like subtle chain you. Uh, you're at seven. I'll Ronnie. I'll take two. I'll hit and run. I'll kill something. I'll put Ronnie back in my hand. I'll play the Ronnie again. I'll steal another one. Yep. Uh, play the library. Oh no, that card is the best card. It's really good. It's I'm like the best Sarian card. Good of the many. Destroy each creature that does not share a trait with another creature in its battle line. So dinosaur is good. Demon is good. Human scientist. Alien. Alien. They're good. Oh no. Humans? She's dead. She's dead? Oh, I got a word. Oh, she got a word. Okay. So, ward. You got a robot? Robot. Robot? No. Robot is dead? I got an elf thief. Dinosaur and aliens. I got no elf thieves, so this guy is dead. Um, I've got scientists. You got demons. Robot experiment? He's dead, but he... Uh, is he good? Is it, uh, exhausted. Yeah, he's exhausted. And then demons. Okay. So, yeah. You killed my hugger mugger. Hilarious. Uh, I will play... Oh, I just realized what a hugger mugger is. I thought it was just like a tentacle thing, but it's somebody who hugs you and steals from you. Oh, okay. Well, that's, what's that's much answer. nicer. Yeah. <laughs> I'll play a Therocentrian to capture one. Tracerian Legionary. It's going to kill that Eddie. Yeah, do you know? I will kill the Bibliophile. <laughs> bibliophile, no. I'm going to reap. I think I exalt him to gain two. Or the next extra one there. That's it. I sure have a lot of stuff on this board. Yeah, it's a lot of dinosaurs I'll never, ever, ever be able to deal with. Yeah. Reshuffles. Definitely better than Face Hugger Mugger. <laughs> I thought he looked like a Face Hugger Mugger. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. <laughs> was on the road for 2.5 hours. You guys are still playing disgustingly awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're at it tonight. We still haven't. This is like our fifth game. Yeah. Yeah. We still got another game after this one. Yep. Um, this this format is much slower. I don't know if it's just like not lack of familiarity. I do. I think it's all of the amber control, honestly, right? Because. Um, in AOA, it's slower and there's more amber control. Way more amber control. Yeah. Way more. Uh, no displants, no. Uh huh. Ah. Uh. Ha. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's definitely a good thing. The lack of it was was a bummer, sort of an AOA. It just meant it could never contend with COTA. That he's so upset. God. <laughs> I am like in a weird place where I think. I have to, to go, save this. Next evil term. Thank you. For that follow. Um, I think I have to say this here. You will forge the key. I will not interact with your amber in any way in this situation. Uh, which sucks. Um, however, it lets me curb the ridiculous stuff that's going on the board. Um, which I think I have to do if I want a chance to win. play more gifted five. Oh, I'm just throwing them out there. Look at that. Thank you so much. He's throwing them out. We appreciate that a lot, Claymore. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Everybody thank Claymore, especially if you just got one. Special teams, Chubby Wubby, Dark Black Nine, John Druid, Durindos, or Paper Tender. You can now flex. Exciting stuff. Flex them. Flex this. Emotes. Flex the Snuffies. Now, or flex, flex your favorite emote. It doesn't matter. Yeah, flex anything nothing. you want. Don't let Nathan hold you back. Flex nothing. <laughs> just flex. Flex. Yeah, just flex. That's, That's fine. fine. Now, this is one for the world we can All right. Uh, so I'm going to... I'll have you know I spent minutes making those sound put, bites. Put my archives into my hand. I'm going to say this. Now, this is one for the world we can yeah, for that um, much, Brian. I'm gonna play not finished with you. <laughs> I'm gonna get the hugger mugger. 
That's pretty good. Um, now this is one insightful world we can lie. Much appreciated for that. Uh, it's actually deterministic at this point. I don't know if I have another Shadow's Creature I want to get back. What's up? Mleto. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime. Mleto. Uh, I see people have found the Twitch Prime button. <laughs> 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 you guys must really like that song. Yeah. Claim Riff. Yeah, just uh, make like several million dollars and then make it so our stream is unwatchable for all this stuff. <laughs> Uh, these get these get shuffled. That I will draw these at the end of the yeah. turn, so I'm not going to bother shuffling them right now. I'm going to play an Inspector and a Lilithal. Actually, I'm going to hang off on these. I'm going to reap these uh, two Eterooms, and uh, I'm going to smoke the Centurion. He's dead. Um, and then I'm going to kill this Quester Jarda. He's dead. Okay. And I will say check with ten, um, and then I'll play Inspector and Lilithal. And it is your turn. I will draw two. Okay, so I forge. I will. Let's say Star Alliance. Play Commander Chan. <laughs> Yes. I'm going to cloaking dongle this legionary. Okay. I'm going to heal two off this legionary to gain two. She's sweet. Love that Love that lady. Yeah, she's actually solid. Um, her car... Like, this is like... that. That is exactly what healing should be in the game. Like, yeah. I think you've got to get other effects on top of it. We'll reap. Traber will reap. Tabor. And I can play or use a non Star Alliance card this turn. I'll give Soul Keeper to Commander Chan. I'm just going to go as high on Amber as possible, I think. And that's it. All right, so I forge. Yeah. Uh, I think I can get you down. I think I can get you one off. Because uh, the Hugger Mugger doesn't stop you. Yeah. Um, Hugger Mugger uh, will capture one. Uh, Ronnie Wrist Clocks will steal two. Um, I, wish, I wish I had the hit and run. And that's why I was like, oh man, hit, hit and run. run and I thought this mug was hit and run. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, hit and run Ronnie. Gonna be good. Because uh, I would have stolen like four from you there yeah. with Ronnie. Um, but I've got a subtle chain and an umbra, so I can go up pretty high too, which you might be, may or may not be able to stop. I'm not sure. I can do two. I can capture two off cards in hand. That's like it though. Okay, so I would have actually gone to eight there. Yeah. Uh, so actually, I would have been able to mug as well. So I would have like mugged. So I would have been at nine, yeah, and then I would have a much. subtle chain to possibly get one of your um, things. So uh, I do. Uh, maybe getting the umbra was a mistake. I was just hoping maybe you couldn't actually get there. Or I, actually, I guess I was hoping three stealing, being able to stop three. The hugger mugger plus Ronnie was like that was I a felt, super good game though. So that came yeah, down was to pretty one close. Turn. Yeah, pretty close. I feel like those decks were pretty comparable in power. So I would agree. Uh, I I I'm actually surprised you didn't run away with it with all the the Sarian stuff that you had going on. Yeah, I was threatening game. to do so. You needed that at your own turn for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here's my perceived best deck. Mostly I picked it as the best because I looked the most fun. This is the one with all the blasters in it. Uh, yeah, I was... Um, I was definitely concerned about that deck's performance on board. So, uh, yeah, so this one is... This is the Blood Money deck. So this is the deck that had, like, a ton of... It's not a keyboard chair storm, no. It's just my regular chair because... No, my that's... back hurt Yes, or my back hurt today because I was sitting in, like, a crappy dining room chair... Uh, for six hours yesterday. The, uh, the Keyforge chairs don't exist yet. As someone who has spent a thousand Amber Shards on Keyforge chairs, they don't exist yet. So. <laughs> They'll be here soon. TM. So, soon, TM. <laughs> soon, asterisk. Yep. I hope, I'm was, hoping I can get enough Amber Shards I this was weekend told, to get one. I was told by Fantasy Flight that if I could open a Worlds Collide deck that didn't have dissonant, they would <laughs> get me my chair. And then they would send us these decks. And then <laughs> When's your table arriving? In about five years. <laughs> All I had to do, what I they, 
You'll notice I have no chair. All right, here's my deck. Rider, Friendberg. How much is the table? It's 4,000? Is it four or 5,000? It's a lot. It's an absurd amount. I guess it's the next thing that we go for. I suppose so. It's awesome. But I feel like we spend more on travel costs than we would on just like buying a table. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this, I don't know if this will get it. That Mr. Deck? Mr. Sinkleg. No, oh. that is not it. Uh, this is Sinkleg, the Rogue of Anger, but Rogue is in quotation marks. The Rouge. Yeah, the next five. Well, the next five, like, if you win five, that's like... Uh, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's only 2,500. Plus, like, I guess... The, the round ones. the round, so... 120. Um, for those, right? Yeah. It would be a minimum of 75, because you'd have to go five and one. Right. So... So 75 times 5. All the memories storm, you're right. I mean, we're still going to go to the tournaments. 800? I mean, the chair is 1,000, so the table is not 800. Win is 500 plus however you did in Swiss. Yeah. I think you get 20 a win in Swiss. Uh, they have been doing... They have been giving an amount of amber shards just for entering at Yeti. Yeah. It's yeah. like... 20 just well, no, the, the five times amber shard thing is actually crazy. It's really good. Like, uh, if you have a chance to go to um, a tournament this weekend or next, because I think they're extending it, they're extending it longer. 30 um, for entry, that's pretty good. You did it. Yeah, nice. You only have one special card in your deck? That's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's Humans Bane. Humans Bane. I want to Bane those no. Star Alliance people. Not no. all of them. I might have an Untamed Human, too. One Maverick? What's a Maverick? Uh, the Maverick is Blood Money. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's uh, Blood Money and Star Alliance. Oh, so I can, like, Blood Money, then Red Alert, maybe. I, Blood Money, I think, is decreased in value. Like, if you're playing against, like, uh, if you're playing against dinosaurs, I think Blood Money is actually... It's legit, actively bad. Legit, actually bad. You have to get rid of the creature immediately. Yeah, you have, you have to be killing them immediately. I won the die roll and I lost that game. <laughs> Winning the die roll is not great, apparently. Oh, wow. Wowie, wow. Okay. I, I'm going to keep this because this. Because she's good. She is I, really I good. I think she... she I, I, I think people slept on her, but she is good. Bigger dice. Yeah, I mean, we're like only using them to roll once a game, so it's like not that big a deal to see, but yeah. I, I did look at bigger dice at some point. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, there's about seven. I want to say it's seven. All right, I'm going to say Star Alliance. Play Arms Master Melina. I'll play Comp Officer Kirby, so I can play a non-Star Alliance artifact upgrade or action card this turn. Um, I'm going to Festering Touch to get rid of the Meg Meg Ingram's Word token. I'm gonna play Kirby's Blaster. When it's attached to him, you draw two cards. What? Yeah. Draw two cards. Um, Jeez. Play a Yishi and a Kirby. And I will play a Poltergeist. Okay. <laughs> Your turn. All right, Kirby. All right, then. I guess this is That's insane. <laughs> Uh, so I guess this is dis. This has got to be a dis turn. You're going to want to kill those Kirbys. Um, how about I just take them? You could take them. Yep. yep Your Kirby is my Kirby. Pretty sad about that. Uh, I'm going to three fates. I'm going to kill those other Star Alliance dudes. God. That's then, so devastating. I was going to have so much I'm fun. Gonna play Boo this line. man. <laughs> Boo this man. And I will draw three, and it is your turn. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to say dis. Play Onyx Knight and kill everything with odd power. Get it. Okay, well, I guess all these guys are dead. stuff back. That's yours. That's yours. Give me stuff back. I'll play Obsidian Forge. I'll play Blood Shard. In. This game's hilarious already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we both have discs? What you are could... the odds of that? What? Could... what? Okay. Uh, I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to play Subtle uh, Special Delivery. I'm going to play Subtle Mall. I'm going to play f Fidget. I'm going to Oubliette the Blood Shard Ump. And then I'm going to Hidden Stash my other card. And your turn. I will draw 
Six. Mm. A cool six. Plan tamed. Play Ramalinx, play Tantalin, play a Morwolf, play a Lodon, play the fittest to buff my guys. Yikes. I'll say check with six. Ghosts, the barking, barking of the ghosts. Yeah, Lodon's pretty sweet. I like it so far. All right, I'm gonna say disc because I can stop you, stop your key. Uh, I'm gonna special deliver this more wolf. What would you say is the best house combo without disc? I have no damn idea. We don't know. <laughs> we can't possibly know. That. We couldn't tell you. I don't, maybe like a logos sorry and star alliance deck, uh, I, I, or untamed sorry and star alliance. Right? I could see a shadows, uh, like a shadows. Logos, Saurian, or I probably, actually, I think Logos and Starlines probably work better. Yeah. And I think Untamed and Saurian work better because, like, uh, Ghost Hawk is insane with a lot of those dinosaurs. Um, being able to, like, reap with those dinosaurs out of phase and whatnot. Uh, I'll Rock Grub to blow up one. Um, I'm going to Festering Touch to put damage on both the Bramble Lynx and the Donix Knight, I guess. Uh, and then I'll play an Imp Spectre. And it is your turn. I will draw to you. Uh, okay. I'm going to say dis. Play Ortanu. Oh, God. I'm going to Binding Irons you. Oh, God. I'm going to Poltergeist your Subtle Mall. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What did I do? <laughs> Why do I deserve this? Onyx Knight. Onyx Knight. Will. God, I. Oh my god. Just reap. What are you looking for when you open a Worlds Collide Dis deck? Who, who even knows? I don't know. Well, who like, even knows? We, uh, Infernus? Um, Infernus Hysteria? Like, Infernus is good. Yeah, Infernus is good. I, I like Infernus. Infernus has been solid every Misery single time. Misery Exploit, Festering Misery touch. Exploit has got a lot of play in this set. Yeah. Because um, your guys are stickier than they were in AOA, and so they just kind of linger on the board. you got a lot of really big dudes who want to fight, <laughs> so... Um, I was going to subtle chain you and subtle maul you. <laughs> it's not so subtle. Absorbing Forge is really cool. Yeah, I like that card a lot. Uh, all right, so I guess it's a... Um, this is Okay, this is where I reap. I reveal the top of your deck, and it's an Ortano's Chains. Uh, I'm going to say Shadows. I'm going to reap with Fidget. Top card. Tech Impulse. Destroy each artifact, exhaust each creature with an upgrade. Oh, all right. Get out of here. You I'm play seeing. it, right? Yeah, I play it. Oh, my God. Discard a random card from your opponent's archives are the top card of the deck. If it's an action card, play it as if it were yours. Boom! Pow! <laughs> Got him. What, what performance will most people be playing Friday in Indy? Probably sealed. Yeah. Uh, World's Clyde Sealed. Um, I have to imagine that's going to be the thing. I'm going to play Chain. Non-stop. I'm going to play Subtle Chain. I'm going to discard a card um, and ready the Chain Gang. Jeez. Chain gang's actually crazy. Yeah, it's if you get a deck that's like two subtle chains, three chain gangs, can you imagine? Can you get a deck with that? Because that'd be stupid. Imagine that garbage. These guys are uncommon. Mm -hmm. Chain subtle chain is uncommon. Uh, all right, so boom, get her out of there. Um, so chain gang's gonna steal one from you. Not quite enough to keep you off. Uh, and then I'll shuffle, shuffle the subtle chain in there. I really wish I had a uh, mug and or subtle mall to use for this turn. Okay, uh, I'll say Untamed. Play Penpaka Anga. I'll play a song in the wild. Oh god. I don't have I don't have multiple more wolves is the only bad part. Like I was trying to get to a turn where I had a lot of more wolves to play. Um, so I just have the one more wolf. I'll give and I'll draw two the Bramble Link's chain. instrument of silence. Uh, I think he's gonna tear that chain gang apart. Oh no. And then Tantadlin is going to reap to give me two. And your turn. All right, so I'll forge. Yeah, I'm not going to bring any Archon decks, probably. We got we to gotta bring... Uh, 
we have to bring um, uh, Dex, Dis Dex to trade. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to say Star Alliance. I'm going to play Lay of the Land. So, look at the top three. And I'm fine just like grinding a couple sealed games just to get Dex, honestly. Okay. Um, put that there. Put it back in the order and draw. So, draw this. I'm going to play Calm Officer Kirby. You may play a non-Star Alliance artifact upgrade or action card this turn. Uh, I'm going to subtle chain you. I did draw into it. That deck seems pretty good. Yeah. Seems pretty good. A binding. Well, I guess that stops an amber there. Uh, the stunner, I guess I'll put on Fidget. I think Fidget's days are numbered. Um, I'll play Explorer Rover. That'll be my turn. I'll say check with six and um, drop a chain and draw four. Okay, I'll say this. I'm going to play Ortana's Binding. Let's do that too to him. I'm going to reap with Ortano. So for each copy of Ortano, deal two with two splash. So I'll do two with two splash there. Okay. So two, two, two. This, uh, does that destroyed effect work? This is return each. So all the Ortanu's bindings are in your hand now, right? Yeah, they are. Oh, this, those are actually in your those hand. Are, yeah, yeah, this is effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's in your hand. Um, so I purge the card at random now. Uh, but these guys have uh, damage. Yeah, I'm going to end up killing those three. Because the second one I'll do with the damage to Rock Grub. Okay. Uh, okay. And so the Explorer Rover is around with two damage yeah. on it. Fine. Hmm. Yeah, it's whatever, I guess. That kind of sucks, but... I'll play another Binding. Put some... I'll just put damage on more at this point. Yeah. Uh, I guess that does... Uh, I, you would have had two extra Amber had right. I not gotten rid of yeah. that other stuff. So. Reap with Onyx Knight. That's it. Uh, all right, I'll forge uh, this binding chain. Man, that subtle... Oh, man. Yeah, I know. I think, I think if that had not occurred in this game, I think it would have been in really good shape. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to say this. I'm going to play Human's Bane. There's no humans to kill. Uh, Harbinger of Doom, and then Edoroam. And it is your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw three. If I hadn't been put down, geez, how much amber was that? I mean, how many cards was that? I was that I lost the so poltergeist killed subtle mall, discarded a card from my hand, and then I got binding irons on top of that. So I lost five cards. Yep. Um, and this deck is like very fast. All right, so I'm gonna say untamed. Lynx is going to fight at her own. Gain one. Reap with more wolf. Reap, reap. Um, mm. Play more wolf. Reap. That's three. Play more wolf. Four. Reap, reap. Six. Jeez. More Play wolves are stupid. Rusnar. Yeah, that's game. I can't stop you. Dang. The speed. The stupid untamed man. Whew. Where's Garcia? Where were you? I got, it was that, it was honestly that middle of the game, because it was one of those where you had stuff on the board and you kept killing my stuff, and I kept drawing fewer cards than you. Um, so. GG's. I don't, I don't, I don't know if this deck was better than the other one. Um, I do think there was a lot of, like, powerful stuff going on. I had red alert. I had answers, I just didn't get them. Yep. Um, Harbinger of Doom was on the board. Yeah. I think it, I think that was draw dependent. I think that was very, very draw dependent. That deck did have two guys though, right? Yeah, so, I'm like, my, my artifacts are definitely a liability. Um, I guess it's just the subtle mall. I mean, what happens if I collar, like, Ortanu or whatever, you know? Just because yeah. you, you got, like, a lot of value from Ortanu that game. He merged I didn't, stuff. I didn't draw the walls to get back the collar support. I think, yeah, I think I think I, I lost the game with that big card swing in the middle there. Because I, like, just got out from underneath it, and you, the board was just filled with stuff. 
You have a song in there? Yeah. Yeah, so with all the more wolves, the, the song Amber, the the Amber Burst yeah. in his deck's crazy, actually. Right, right, right. It's so high. There's Good a lot of pips Lord. on it, too, because all the blasters have pips. Yeah, yeah. If you would have killed those guys... I, 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 I know. <laughs> I Ford. know, Justin. I know. That's why I killed them. <laughs> Boo this man. Okay. Also, the Obsidian Forge. Yeah, yeah, I killed it, too. Yeah. I killed... Like, I was answering your stuff. You could have won even harder than you I did. Know. Yeah. I like this deck a lot. So... That's cool. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. Yeah, I like it. It's really unique. I hate when I say things are unique <laughs> in this game. I know. Because, idi yes, they're it's unique, special. idiot, stupid. Yeah. It's special to me. Yeah, it was good games. I hope people got something from this. I, uh, I, I feel like we learned a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, even even with the, it being skewed by discs, we did open enough of the other houses to go with all that stuff mm -hmm. um, that I think... Um, that I think uh, it's like it, we, we've got a pretty good um, distribution, a pretty good uh, understanding of some of the other houses and how they function. So. Things I'm looking for is I think I'm, I would go for maximum amber yeah. generation. Yeah. I think this so the there is um, too much to protect and interdimensional graft are the only cards that punish you. We're as ready for India as we could possibly be, I think. Yeah, um, burst is is big. It's really yeah. big. Yeah, and the, there's a there's like a gulf between the decks that can generate a lot of amber and the yeah. ones that can't. There are plenty of games where I was sitting there with no amber the whole time. Yeah, right. And then yeah. You, <laughs> boards are important. Yeah, making use making optimal use of your boards with Starlight guys in play can Correct. be challenging. And I think um, knowing I think the answer so the answers in this set are all. Are kind they feel kind of samey until you're like actually in the game and you're like okay there's a lot of various important subtle differences between all of my amber answers so how do how do I make maximum advantage of those and battle line is more important than ever now too yeah there's yeah, a lot of I stuff that affects certain parts of the battle I line. think there's like ordering is going to be it's like it's like Hearthstone ordering yeah because battle line and um, Coda was like not that important yeah you just put you just slap your stuff down battle a line and AOA was a little more important it, yeah and this one I think it's like crazy important yep um, and I don't even know I don't even know 100% how to to do it necessarily uh, it's one of those like I think logos you don't want to stack your guys together yeah. Uh, shadows, you don't want to put your important stuff on flanks. Yeah. Um, more than that, obviously, but right, right. There's a lot of stuff you can do to dodge a lot of the removal in this set. Yeah. Um, against untamed, if you have the choice to play like three crappy creatures, you probably you might consider discarding creatures against untamed because of unnatural selection. If I had unnatural selection in that game, I mean, how how fast do I get back in it yeah right the thing about unnatural selection is since you choose three creatures you choose your best and you give them their worst yeah or you can keep you can give them like three of different houses you're like here's three yeah, here's, you ruin here's future turns yeah so it's like um you you'll just screw up their vectors so yeah let you rearrange either player's battle line I, I had that card in a couple decks I never really made good use of it but I could yeah. see it being, being pretty impactful and red alert I mean the thing about star alliance you gotta keep in mind Quintrino flux is uncommon and then red alert is common yeah so if you're gonna like it's fine to have a couple of really big guys but you might not want to stack the battle line against them yeah yeah um so cause uh, if you push it too much and you're like relying on your board you might put yourself in a position where you're about to just get yeah, wiped. Exactly. One side especially, wiped too. especially if you're um, uh, the dinosaurs. Yeah. You got like six dudes that all have five amber on them, and then your opponent red alerts you, and you feel really bad. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of, lot of stuff to keep in mind. The, the removal in this set, I think... Um, I actually really prefer the removal in this set to AOA. Oh, yeah, it's interesting, too. I don't, I, I don't have the negative feeling going into the set that I had with AOA. Um, and, I don't either. Uh, and that's because, I, I, after we, especially after we played like a week of AOA, I was like, man, I feel like all of these games are the same. Um, and there's subtle differences between them. And the sweet AOA decks were really sweet, but a lot of like the really common AOA decks, like the mid-tier... They're so boring. They're very similar. Yeah. And it's like, basically, whoever has the bigger guys is probably going to win. Yep. Um, so worlds collide on the other hand is 
I can't even call it paper, rock, scissors because I don't even really know. I think because how... we, we only have scissors. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, because of this. Right. Yeah. So um, I would say as fast as some of our decks are, there's probably decks that are even faster. Oh, I guarantee it. Because Cause, cause this, this is, is not, like not generating that. The only, Misery Exploit was the only discard that generated a ton of Amber. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of the disc creatures are very mediocre on the table. Um, you know, like... Um, Basically, every five-power disc guy, I'm not excited to yeah, see. Yeah, every five-power fight one is pretty mediocre. Yeah. Very mediocre, actually. Actively bad. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, probably C minuses yeah. in this set because they don't kill the Sarian guys they need to kill. and They barely kill their the effects, Star Alliance guys. Their effects are on fight, which means you have to choose between generating Amber or getting their effects. It's not like Toxin, right? Right. It's not like Succubus. It's, it's so much different. It's it's not like Dust Imp. Yeah. You know, um, I think Imp Spectre and Infernus are good cards. Imp Spectre is very good. Um, and Born Its Touch is really good. You yeah. get a ton of information from them. So I think, um, at, you know, at f- having played with as much Dis as we have. Those are the cards. Those are the cards you want. Yeah. You want the and I do like Harbinger of Doom because um uh it, it proved to be pretty it, it's, its ability to kill everything is very important in this set. Yep. Um the untamed card, Fangtooth Cavern, stellar card, incredible card. It's that so card good. is crazy good. Yeah. Um there was somebody at Richmond that had deck that had like two of them, and I was like, wow, this seems really good, right? And now it, in, in practice, it's like even better. It's so, yeah. so good. You choose what you're playing against right. your opponent, right? Um, it would like, if it if it makes your opponent discard all those really low power evasive dudes to just put them in directly in the discard right. pile. They're effectively killed by it. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Like, yeah. I, like, yeah. You have to be able to play like two or three of those guys at a time for any of them to get any kind of effects. Yeah. Um, and the fact that Fangtooth Cavern happens at the end of your turn makes it so powerful because it, it works the turn. What it works you the turn you play. Tim Tadlin's yeah. actually surprisingly better in this set. I've, even though his, I've been impressed with Tim Tadlin. Even though his archive ability is it's way worse. Yeah. It's so much worse. But that was but the, barely relevant in the OA, yeah. even though archiving was so big. Yeah, yeah. Because um, it, it almost never mattered. Yeah. Right? Like Merkins was way better at doing what Tim Tadlin wanted to do. Exactly. But the fact that Mer- uh, Tim Tadlin is nine power means he just dodges all the Fangtooth Cavern triggers. And the attachments for Untamed are better. Are so much better. So that's another they thing. have attachments for Untamed. The right? attachments in general in the entire set are better. Uh, yeah, so you can stack crazy. other stuff on them. Yeah, yeah. Like Starline stuff. Um, there's like uh, there's give him a blaster. Yeah, f it. Right, <laughs> screw it. Give yeah. him a blaster. Give that tree a blaster. <laughs> Welcome to the Star Alliance, to Tadlin. <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of um. Yeah, I mean, but the the commons in this set. So this it feels different than AOA, where AOA was like play as many. I mean, sorry, COTA, where COTA was like play as much stuff as you could. Um, this set definitely has like a like a mixture of the two. It does. It's like, do I use my board? How much can I use this turn? Yeah. Can I use and play some cards? Right. So the, I guess the thing because we have we have very very rarely seen Brobnar boards be able to generate stuff where you're like, I want to use this board over and over. I don't want to talk about Brobnar. Right. But that's, that's what so I'm saying. Bad. That's what I'm saying. It's like the Brobnar guys on the table just don't. They do don't anything. do anything. They don't do it. And like Mega Narp, like. I mean, Narp is just like Narp is actively, actively bad. He's like actively detracting from the stuff you can do yeah. on the table. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Now I think you can get a decent Brobnar deck, but you're miss like Brobnar is missing the hell out of some Foozles. Yep. Um, it is missing Bingle Bang Bang, Relentless Assault, Relentless Assault, Angers, Gauntlet of Commands. Like, there's so much stuff that's you just got some missing. good ones. More of us. That's I mean, that's good to hear. I just, I feel like it'd be really difficult to get one I would like over something else, some yeah. other house, and pretty much any other house. Can yeah. you give me logos all day? That's my jam. But man, the logos has got some ac- ac- like actually crazy stuff. It's better than I thought it would be. Yeah, uh, you do you don't want all the creatures. There's a lot of new logos creatures that sometimes will like, get stacked in your deck, and you just don't. Yeah, that's not the logos yeah. deck. You I think want. you you want a combination, right? Like you don't want the ten logos creature side because I think that's it's. I think it's oh, you bad. hate it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, fair. Yeah, uh, volcano. Volcano's done some work. Pile of skulls would be great. Yeah, yeah. Is pile of skulls in this set? I think it is, right? Yeah. But uh, is Iron Obelisk in this set? Mm, I don't think so. I mean, Shattered Throne is very close to. It's it's okay. Like, uh, can you can you imagine the Shattered Throne Morewolf deck? 
They're pretty good. I, th- I think, like, I think you can have like a high roll untamed, and your opponent, you just completely pants your opponents. Imagine like in the de- the game I just played or the deck I just played having a key charge. Yeah, I guess Choda's not in the set. Choda isn't. Okay, we have key charges. But yeah, imagine you had a imagine you had a key charge. Yeah, imagine you had. I mean, I don't know. I feel like that Untamed was actually pretty close to what you want. Uh, imagine you had some Mermooks. Uh, so we have um, we have seven decks. We could try to trade those in Indy. Seven for Indy? Seven okay. unlooked at decks. Okay. We can bring those to Indy. We got a few people we're going to send boxes to in exchange for more boxes. Yeah. Of. So we're going to try to mitigate our... Yeah, once again, once again, we do want to thank the community because they, like, they definitely... Far, uh, Far Quad's in here. Lord of Winter. Lord of Winter's in here still or not. Player but, Herp. Uh, but Player Herp, they were like, yeah, we will happily trade you boxes for that, So, which I think is really awesome. Um, so We haven't gotten any anomalies yet, so there's actually a pretty good chance one of these boxes is an anomaly. Yet. Yeah. Never know. The wolves are awesome, yeah. Yeah, the wolves are sweet. How do you think AOA will match up against? Man, I feel like AOA doesn't have a chance. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we'll do some, we'll do some play testing yeah. of AOA, um, and we'll we'll go find the high roll AOA decks, the ones that are actually pretty solid, like the time traveler exhum one. But like, doesn't that deck just get donked on by Infernus? Probably. Didn't we play that match up? I can't remember if we did. Or yeah, right. but then no, we played Infernus versus Barkus in the and in, in Worlds Collide lost. Yeah, that's true. Vargas Rex lost to the Inferno deck. No, it beat the Inferno deck. It beat the Inferno deck. Yeah. Even with Inferno destroying uh, Fertility Chant in that game. Yeah. Which is the most illegal thing you can do. We can, yeah, Team we'll Force. definitely be doing more, more uh, Coda matchups with Worlds Collide for sure. We're gonna try to get as much of that as we can in. The problem is we we can't like get a good sample size. There's just not enough time for us to get a good sample size. Yeah. We'll do some. Yeah. I mean, what happens? I mean, I don't know. I feel like. So I feel like our, our long form tournament ends up being really, really good sealed prep. Like a, actually insane sealed prep. Yep. But not entirely useful for Archon. No, not at all. We find, I think we learned that. Yeah. In at Gen, Gen Con. Con. Yeah. 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 No, I mean it's not that we're it's not that we're making bad plays in Archon. So we don't have enough reps with correct. the deck that we bring. Correct, correct. We we didn't play the same deck fifty times. Yeah. We played a hundred decks. Three times. Four times. times. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it was a random the World's Collide deck against Proven Anyway. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So we'll try to bring more uh, power levels, uh, samey power levels. Yeah. Like we did with uh, AOA versus COTA. So. I, I feel like, I kind of feel like the middle tier World's Collide deck destroys Coda decks. Like mid tier Coda decks. Because even the decks that we're like not too excited about with Star Alliance, like they're, or, or, Sorians, they're doing dumb stuff on the board yeah. still. Well, so the the really fast untamed decks, I think your average world collide deck is good against because there's so much key taxing. Yes. You have like three cards at common in the set that make your opponent pay extra for keys. So your opponent generates nine, fine, you're having to pay you're you're gonna pay twenty seven for your keys. Yeah. Um because like Reader Gallum, Garcia, Eddie. Evil Eye, Eddie, um, like uh all of those cards don't care about nature's call, which is what the um, uh, well, I guess Eddie kind of cares about it, but the um, Garcia and Reader Gallum don't care about nature's call because you just play them again on the next turn. Right. Um, you just make sure your opponent plays the maximum amount. So yeah. Okay. I think we're done here. That's us. We, we've done as much as we can. We will this time tomorrow. We will be in Indianapolis. Yeah, and we'll see any any of you that'll be there. Yeah, feel free to come say hi, come hang out. I know not a lot, of, not as many people are going to this as that went to uh, Richmond. Went to Richmond. But yeah. Either way, uh, we're gonna be. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping India will have a pretty good turnout. I think Richmond had a decent turnout. So, if you're not on Discord, jump in that Discord. We'll yep. talk. We'll be we talking about our, our decks and stuff. And yeah, I'll probably I'll probably doing. do some tweeting. Keep an eye on the Wiki stream. Yeah. No, we're not streaming it. The Wiki is streaming it though. Yeah, Wiki streaming it. Yeah. We're flying, so it was like, you know, we can't carry our stuff. Can't carry our stuff. And, and uh, I, I mean, I Yeti think... does want to like yep. widen as many people yeah. as they can get to like different groups of people to stream, yeah, which, possible, I, which, which I am cool. all about. Like that's, I, I thought it was sweet. They, they, they basically they want to encourage the community. I think that's awesome because that gives a, that gives a chance for lots of streamers to to take a turn basically streaming yeah. the which is great. Tour, so. More more exposure for Key Forge is always yeah. a good thing. 
Yeah, plenty of room on Twitch for Keyforge, I think. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try my best for Farquad. <laughs> it's my it's my time now. <laughs> yeah, yeah I've got. I don't. I don't have to prove shit. No, okay. no. I just want to get. I don't enough. even have to. I don't even have to win a game. I just want to get right? enough to order a chair. Also, yeah, that'd that's be my sweet. goal. That'd be sweet to get a chair ordered by. Because by the time, game. um, uh, by the time I, by the time my chair is ready to be made, if you have made enough to get a chair, we'll probably ship at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So. Logos chair, I think. Yeah, I'll do a Brobnar chair. That's what I would do. The two time. Yeah, it could be the two time. Could be the two time. I, I would. I meant like eight hundred. Actually, let me check my Amber three charts. people. There's three people who, go, or sorry, two people who have won two vault tours. I'm at seven ninety four. So I need to like top eight. Seven ninety four. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm like, I think I only have like a hundred now because I spent a grand. Yeah, uh, and I, I mean, I'm still, I still have a bunch of decks to scan too from the stuff we have. So I have like, how many decks do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine, I'm actually eight, at well, two sixteen currently. So we've only, I've only opened and scanned sixteen of our Worlds Collide decks. So yeah. we have yeah, a ton more right, of those to right, go. Right, right, right. Because we need um, I guess... no Mars chair. No. <laughs> no Mars chair. Neither of us are the two time. I'm the two time fifth place. Yeah. That's it. Like, should, well, one of those is a grand champion. Chip. Grand champion. Yeah, champion. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. It's, that's like an A championship. Yeah. Arguably <laughs> more prestigious than Voltour. <laughs> they, just, they just throw out Voltours every weekend. Yeah, there's all the time. This is once a year. <laughs> I got a bum over play mat. Yeah, I did not get that. I did not get any of the swag. Yeah. I mean, I have a, I have a, theoretically, I have a chair. Like, theoretically, I have a, a theoretical chair. Yeah, I have a, theoretically, I have a 401k. That's not so real that, money. So that's money. That's theoretical money that my 70 year old ass will have. <laughs> 105, 5 1. Yeah, I just have to go 5 1. No problem. Yeah, it's 5 1. 5 1's not bad. The scans, though, is the big thing. It'll put me over. Um, getting to day two, I should get to 1,000. Yeah. That's uh, because, like, any of the pl- any of the places you get, like, it's like top 16 is like 75 or something. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I think mean, that's it's right. Like, it's it's um it's significant and i'll, I'll play play we want to play in the team sealed on sunday yeah if there's something after the tournament friday we might play in it too okay. i mean depending on yeah because we have we have a lot of time while we're there yeah and the, the way yeti has been running tournaments like i want to say day one finished like five <laughs> it was before five finished. it was before five yeah six rounds started on time finished by four thirty. yeah that's pretty good like so we knew we'll who, have time to play we knew who day two was by 4 30 by like four or whatever two, it was good I like i mean it was like ruthless we played in a tournament after that we played in the the archon team after That's right, that Lord Farquaad. with Farquad. so um yeah we have to recruit somebody for our team sealed on sunday yeah i don't like we can't split storm and bill up it'd be tragic i know it would be unless one of them was doing something else yeah all right guys we're done yeti does also very very good job extremely good job no, Gen Con no, didn't even Gen- start by then. You're, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Gen Con was on like round three at four or whatever. It was so. bad. Shut her down. We're done. Shut her we down. Keep talking. We could just keep talking. We just we'll never stop talking. <laughs> I gotta bring my mushroom man shirt just so I can wear it. If Bill, Alongside if Bill, Bill is like watching my game, I'm just gonna I'll go from like an unlosable <laughs> position. <laughs> just, hey, no, Bill like takes a dollar out. Is like got this on Nathan. <laughs> and it's just, I'll take that bet. <laughs> and I just immediately lose the game. <laughs> I'll take that bet, Bill. We're talking about he's not even here. Yeah. Relay this message from Trump. Yeah. Okay. Tell tell Bill. Tell Bill's plebeian ass. Please. Plebeian VOD watching ass. Do not alienate Bill again, please. Well, He's a loyal tier two sub. I know he is. You cannot say this about him. <laughs> he is the only one with the mushroom mans. Uh, hilarious. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut, Shut it down, down before Nathan alienates Bill anymore. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. We'll be back <laughs> streaming on Monday, but we'll be talking about the Vault Tour all weekend. So... Good night.